a graduate? Yes, now. Nah. <laughs> I'd rather be asked if I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate, now. Nah. Graduate of chemical engineering. It's a lie. Yes. Ma Are you kidding me? Yes. Ma <laughs> I'll be at the best. Really? Yeah. Don't see where. Don't see where we. Where we study waiting. <laughs> waiting with practice. Now. A graduate of chemical engineering, riding a car. You should be working with the NMPC or any of these oil firms. Madam, the truth is, me I try. You know that we are no fine work. Go for Chevron, go for Calabar, go for Aquai Boni Beno, go for Modi, go for Portacot, go for Lagos. Lagos, so me say I work as soon as I should be in pain. Now I say more. It's not me today, you know, they do anything. Make a fine taxi they drive. Make a no go thief. I mean, this job where you see so. Hmm, that's the country for you. I know. I know. Except saying, now who get person? Maybe as you did so now, if you get person, uh, you know, go to suffer. I wish. It's God I have. <laughs> Yes, so uh -uh. person go the hustle now. <laughs> you know, go because the country bad, you know, go hustle. I love. I'm good, thank you. Oh, your flight just landed in Abuja right now. Oh, nice. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you for joining me. Missing you already. Okay, my regards to mom and dad. Talk to you. Love you. Bye, This energy to open just car door. Damn, that's what I see. I'm the, the door they get small problem, but I go, I go fix them. So, this is what you go through per passenger. Each passenger, you do all of this. Now, gallop, I be enter one big gallop. It's in consist, but I go do them. I go You're do them. No, no verse, mama. Who wants to fix your car door? Huh?
Come on, you should say no, be a, may I help you carry and go inside? No, 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 don't worry. Thank you. Hey, Mama, I bet one, one minute. No, no verse, I'm not good. Mama, now my card. It's anytime where you need my service, just call me. Before you they spare Jack, I don't I don't land for your domot. <laughs> uh uh. Complimentary card. Eh? This is surprising. I've never seen such a cabman with a complimentary card. Uh, uh, this guy over here. Mama, you know I I can't be at everywhere at the same time now. So this one that to is say uh, if I did that side at least my number did here for people to <laughs> reach out to me. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I beg any time, make uh, Mama. Yeah, where well, they put them, it's just say, you know, go forget them. Uh -uh. If you won't go wash clothes now, you go mistakenly soak them for water. <laughs> I will not soak it, don't worry. I won't. Mama, you go forget to, I beg, go make you just anywhere where you feed your sport. Maybe if you just put them for this, your boss. Maybe for no forget. You know, say, waiting person, they think too much. This is our country, the problem too much. But I won't forget it. Eh, uh, better me just put them here. All the numbers they go. Either no you call problem. this one or you call this one. Eh? Do you insist? Down, down. Okay. Are you okay now? I don't okay. <laughs> I don't okay, mama. Bye, ma. Bye, ma. Eh, hey! Your money. I don't even forget. You said eight hundred. Uh, yes, eight hundred. Thank you, ma. All right. <laughs> Okay, Louisa traveled to Abuja with her friend, Senator Briggs. And the Miracles Boo invited her for lunch. So they're all out. <laughs> and what is my Majan doing at home? <laughs> it's so unlike you. Okay, I was at the airport with uh, Felix. When you called that you are coming home, he brought it to Abuja. Mm -hmm. So I have to rush down here to welcome Her Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> See your skin. What? You're glowing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're done serving your fatherland. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> thank you so much. It wasn't easy. Right? I know. Mm. I know. So Congrats. Happy. Thank you. I know you must be hungry, right? Let me go get you something to you eat. You just read my mind. Welcome home. Thank Please you. bring in your pack. Thank you. I'm so finished. <laughs> Woo! Finally home! Done with the early morning whistling and waking somebody up. Gosh! Hey! <laughs> See the way you're eating this food? Never shops this morning. Oh, this is so. You know, I'm not inspired traveling now. 
Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. You always mess yourself up while traveling. That's true, remind me. Ah! Yes, I remember the last time we traveled together. Did you remember? <laughs> you threw up three consecutive times. <laughs> you were begging the driver to stop, start with poo poo. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was the one who picked on your behalf because he couldn't talk out of shape. You didn't mad. <laughs> But seriously, mm. yeah. after that incident, mm -hmm. oh, I swore never to eat while traveling until I get to my destination. Not even water. So, it was a crazy experience. So, so, wait, wait, wait. You traveled all the way from Milan. No water, no food. Ah, you did try. I know I know people manage your guy. You know me now. I must eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. But let me ask you, babe. If I forget half a, any no cash. Mm -hmm. Are you for real? What do you mean by that? Are you telling me you went to Ilori to serve for the whole year? No shaker, no toaster, no crush. Mm -hmm. With all this endowment, what are you saying? Why are you the one chasing them away? Because I know you. And you can be stingy with you. With a man. Stingy with what? Hmm? No, no, I'm serious. I'm not joking. What I guess you will go for you service. Mm -hmm. Then come back with husband. You you went to Hinori for one year. All on your own. And you came back here on your own. Come now. Maybe no make sense. Eh? Such the eat. You say you come with husband, now you're gonna eat like this. <laughs> Miracle and this Patrick of a guy. Eh? Mm. Huh? Mm. Why that look? I'm going to miss you. I will miss you more. You know I love you so much, right? And I love you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you say that. <laughs> I can't do without you. I know. I love you. Mm. So. I have to go inside and see the girls. All right. Say me hi to your friends. I will. I will call you once I get to office. Call me. Of course I will. Bye, baby. You know, I like the way the guy is lavishly spending on her. I envy her. True. My uncle is such a lucky girl. Yes, she's lucky. <laughs> so what's to keep in her? She'll she come, come already. She will come. You two love beds. <laughs> Who's your skin plug? 
Betty's secret. She's good. I can see that. <laughs> Girl, you are glowing. Thank you want to blind my eyes? <laughs> What's your skin plug? Thank you, oh, babe. I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I found Jacinta. I did. How was your day? Very well. I can see your bags filled with goodies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Mm. Uh, Anne, mm. by the way, I saw Desmond and he asked after you. Who's Desmond? Patrick's friend. The one that works in the same firm with my guy. And why is she not saying anything? Because I have nothing to say. to get lunch. All right, sir. All right. I'll be at the office in, in 10 minutes. All right. On my way already. That you lost Andy doesn't mean you can't date another. Miracle. Loved it. You can say that to her again. And went to serve in Quarry. One year, the whole one year, she came back here without a crush. Who does that? Babe, I know it's not easy. I know that you've been through a lot recently, but you have to allow the dead remain dead and you have to move on. Please. I gave my all in that relationship. I loved Andy from the deepest part of my heart. You see why it's not advisable for a lady to love a guy so much? I am in deep pain. And to only heal with time. And that's why I'm begging you. I'm pleading. Just date another person. G give Desmond a chance. He loves you. I can never give my heart to Desmond. I'm going to mourn my loss for as long as it lasts. You're beginning to sound like a broken record. See, uh, it's time. It's, it's, it's high time you come out of your shell and socialize. The death of Andy is not the end of the world. And life is for the living. There is no life.
so amazing. We want the best couple in the campus again. <laughs> and that is because we deserve it. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, baby. Everyone knows that we are the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the Jambitos. No! <laughs> <laughs> My love. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know that I will love you today. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And nothing is going to stop us. Nothing except death. No. Stop talking about death. None of us is going to die. Why are people afraid of talking about death? Why? <laughs> Me, most especially. I hate talking about that too. So please stop. Okay, okay, okay. As my baby wishes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love you. I love you too. <sighs> Auntie. I never saw your death coming. You died with your dreams and aspiration in life. You died with your dreams of becoming a pilot. You died trying to prove your undying love for me. <laughs> Those devils. Those devils got shot to your life. Your prime. <laughs> the crossly mother showing cold blood. <laughs> this has been so difficult for me. Can you help out? What is difficult here? All you just need to do is summarize from this point. Where? Here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I didn't take notes actually. So but why does the lecturer keep See it's, see from from here? It says we are not usually the spectators. Huh? Andy. You saw me standing in front of you with my boys. And then you totally ignored us. Oh, come on, Sean. What would you have me do? The last I checked, I did not invite you here. So why are you here? Why don't you just leave us alone, my friend? You see, you can take what belongs to me and claim that you are my friend, Andy. I am going to warn you for the very last time. Stay away from Annabelle. You heard me clear. And what are you going to do? Get me down? Sean, take a very good look at me. Do I look like I'm afraid of death? Listen. She's all I've got. And I'm never going to leave her. Sean. I beg you in whatsoever you hold sacred. Can you leave us alone? <laughs> Romeo. Oh yes, you're Romeo. I see you want to die like a chick. I warn you for the very last time. Stay away from Annabelle. Stay away from Annabelle. There are thousands of girls 
in this campus, if not millions. Why won't you just pick one, fall in love with that one and stay with the person? Why are you trying to take away what rightfully belongs to me? She is my woman. I see. Just watch your back, bro. Watch your back. Let's go. I will never leave you for him. I don't even want that monster. I don't want him. Cheer up. Hmm? Cheer up. So, where did we stop? Andy, what are we going to do about Sean's daily threats? <sighs> Nothing. He's just a toothless backing dog, threatening fire and brimstone. He can do nothing more than a dead rat. He lost once, he's going to lose again. I don't get it. He lost once. It's just something you're not telling me. Andy. Like, something I need to know. Well, during my 100th level in my former school, I contested as the only neutral student against four courtes of different four court groups in Mr. Campos. Mr. Campos? Yes. I won the contest and was declared the winner. I became Mr. Campos and all hell broke loose. Hmm. All the Capones craved that I joined their court group. I declined. Sean and his court group attacked my room one night. Luckily for me, one of their members who knew their intentions to waste me quickly told me about it and helped me escape. I get it now. Since then, Sean swore to take his pound of flesh. Babe, hmm? have you done Chief's assignment? No. Why not? Should you not say that man wicked? Try and do it though. Huh. I just bought the textbook this afternoon. I will do it now. I'm not supposed to perform magic. I'll do it. Why are these lecturers like this? Why will a lecturer insist that his students must buy his test book? Else, even if they pass, so, even if they do it, though, he will not accept it. He will still fail them. Why? That is a good man. Me. Since he's insisting that we must buy his test book and do the assignments from that test book, he should allow us to get the money first now. Eh? Let's get the money to buy the textbook. You should come down. Uh -uh. If I overcome this course with credit, this chief course, if I overcome it with credit, I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. You want credit? Yes. Okay. I mean, I pass, I want. Pass? Yes. If I overcome, I will pass. I'm okay. I cannot come and kill myself because of psychology education. Mm. Me, I'm praying for nothing less than credits because with God on my side, I will graduate with second class upper. Mm. Okay. Me, I don't need the certificate. Why? 
I don't need it for anything. I want to go into important business. Oh. Yes. And I know that by the time I'm done with my youth service, I should be married to Uthel. Either Felix or Collins. And then I'll continue with my importation business. Yes. Hmm. Why are you laughing? What is fun? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You have um, planned out your life already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> they're mad. <laughs> they're crazy. You Why is that me, man? No, no, one question. Who have you decided to marry? Have you decided? Is it mean between both of them? Yes. A first confessor. Oh. Mm. Anyone that proposed first oh my. will be my husband. Mm. That's my plan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, you see, I don't know why they love me. <laughs> like you don't know, you don't like my plans. I, no, no, I, it's my, it's my, my future is so amazing. Oh my God, oh. what is this guy? <laughs> Never be bad. Ordinary psychology guy. <laughs> you want to do importation business? <laughs> I will shock you. <laughs> By the time I marry, oh God! I'm kind of confused. You did say your then school. So what are you both doing here again? After I left, I rode jump again. What? And when he got wind of what happened, he left too, and he rode for prescience here. Goodness me. So he got into this university and became a capon again? Well, I heard his father is a very influential man. Now I understand his personal enmity towards you. This is your final. And he wants you to leave the school again for him. That is not going to happen. I am going to graduate from this school, come rain or sunshine. <sighs> this is a serious temptation. Just relax. Nothing is going to happen. Andy, I think we should report him to the school authority or police officers. Did you not hear what I just told you? His father is very, very influential in this country. So because of that, Sean cannot be arrested or what? Let's report him to the police. They can get him to swear an undertaking. You may be right. This guy cannot be arrested. Arrest him today and watch him get released tomorrow. Are you kidding me? That is what it is. At this point, I don't know what to do anymore. At this point, I don't even know what to do about this Sean guy anymore. If you ask me, I think Sean should be arrested. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you never can tell what his plans are. Sean needs to be stopped. Else he will do something crazy. Those courtes are heartless. Human lives means nothing to them. You know, I actually suggested this exact thing you said to Andy. Guess what he did? What? He bluffed it off. And went ahead to say that Sean's father is very wealthy and influential. And Sean cannot be arrested. Hmm? Yes. But even if the police get him arrested today, the rest are sure that within the next 24 hours, he's out of cell. Yeah. Oh. 
This is more serious than we thought. Yes. I suggest you guys tread with caution. Avoid late night classes. Try, try to avoid each other for a while. Stop being seen everywhere in the campus. I think that's, that will help. Yes, Jacinta is right. I feel seeing both of you together my trigger his jealousy. Mm. And that might also trigger him to harm both of you. That's dangerous. I love Andy so much. So, so much that I, I cannot even imagine myself loving another. Let alone loving that cultist. Never. Just be careful. I'd rather die and have anything to do with that monster. You guys should be careful, that's all. been thinking. Thinking? What are you thinking about? Hey. I... Hey. Look. I think we should stay away from each other. At least for now. What are you getting at? You want to break up with me, I guess. I know you're in your finals and I really want you to finish and graduate without any harm. You are the only child of your parents. If anything happens to you, your parents will be childless. Oh, stop telling me that cock and bull story. I should have known that girls cannot be trusted. Can you please calm down and understand me? What do you want me to understand? You want to break up with me so you can be with Sean. Is that not? I am not breaking up with you. Can you just calm down? Please. Let's do this thing for us. These guys are deadly and you know it. Babe, come on. I love you so, so much. I'm pretty sure you're aware of that. Annabelle, I have to go now. Goodness me. I'm doing this for him. But he's failed to understand me. What was the meaning of that trash that came out of your mouth last night? I mean well for us. I don't want to die. And I don't want to lose you either. You see that guy, Sean? He's not someone you take his threats as nothing. To hell with him! What makes you think I'm afraid of him? Listen, babe. I just want us to stay away from each other for a while. I can't live without you, Annabelle. Would I you, can't. Auntie, would you rather risk your life? Yes. Life itself is a risk. Listen, all I want is for us to leave this university in life. You just have three months to be here, and then you will graduate. Please. Can we just stay at least apart for the three months? Just three months. Something tells me you are trying to leave me for Sean. Can you stop? 
Can you stop? You keep saying this same thing. What do you want to piss me off? Why are you saying such to me? Excuse me. Anything to make you stay alive for yourself and your aged parents. Annabelle, fine girl. Annabelle, I sent for you during the day and I see that you refuse to see me. Okay, I understand. And I also see that you told Andy to stay away from you for the meantime. I know that you don't want him to lose his life. Who told you that? Okay. Annabelle, you don't know who I am and certainly what I can do. But good thing you told him, at least you reminded him that he has like three months to stay in this camp but otherwise yes, no. he will be dead. Sean, what do you want from us? <laughs> this is simple. <coughs> I want a relationship with you. I like you. That's all I ever wanted. I can never be your girl. Yeah? Okay. Look, Sean, Andy is the one for me. We've been together since my year one in this school. So, I love him very much. Mm. With everything in me. That's Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Okay. <laughs> love. Two lovebirds. I see that. Okay, um... I just want to advise you. So that the both of you will remain alive. Okay? Do what's best for you. Let's go. Sean, I beg in the name of God, leave us alone. Leave us alone. How can I do that? I love you. Do what's best for you. Thank you. Let me be now. Shut the fuck up. Yes.
Jesus, what happened to him? Oh my what? God. I know him. Ah, is this guy? Yes. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. 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 I can't believe what I'm saying. I can't believe what I'm saying. What did you do? 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 He's not picking his calls. Don't tell me to come down. Have you seen Andy? I, I keep calling him. He's not picking his calls. Where is he? Have you seen him? I should be coming where? Jacinta, are you okay? Why are you sounding that way? Why did she see him? came in unannounced. What happened? Emmy, you don't look happy. Say anything the matter. Are you done with your exams? You said your exams will start on Monday. So where are you here? Yes, the exam is going to start on Monday. You would have stayed back. Eh? And prepare yourself. Read your book. Remember what I told you. I want you to come out in flying colors with first, first class upper, nothing less. Eh? Emeka. Did anything happen? You don't look, you, you, you are too moody. What is up? I'm not fine. Oh. Now, what is wrong with you? Kevin Aliagi. What is the problem? I just came to inform you people that I will not be writing that final exam. I don't want to write it. Is, is, is that a joke? Why? Talk to 
Talk to me. Tell me the reason. Answer Why would you spend father. money and you will not write your final exam? Answer Talk to me. Father. I am not going back to that school. I don't want to go back. Supermaker, are you insane? Are you sure you are okay? How can you say you are no longer going to that school? Eh? After spending how many years? It only remains two weeks for you to graduate. And you are saying you, are, you don't want to take the exam. For what? What is going on? Chukwemeka, were you rusticated from school? Papa, I was not rusticated. I just don't want to go back to that school. Hmm. Listen, my son. You are all we have. Ah. No brother, no sister anywhere. Mm. We worked all our life to send you to school so that you can have a good life. What have we not done for you? What is the problem? If there's anything happening, you let us know. <laughs> have you started smoking in the air? I don't smoke in the air. All I just want you people to understand is that I am done with that school and I will not be going back. That is fine now. Simo. Chukwameka! Chukwameka! Hey! Niloma Diapa! Eh? Chukwameka! Chukwameka! What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? Hey! Is it ringing? No. I'm not too sure about the network in that village. Just, just keep, keep trying it. It will go. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. I don't just understand our son. The way he behaves lately. I wonder what is wrong with him. You worry too much. He's a big boy now. You don't do campus life. Yeah, <laughs> don't bother. He will be fine. Hmm? It's always like that with the youth. I don't so understand you. Don't bother yourself. It's no longer. Who is calling you? Chukwe Mega is calling you. Huh, are you sure? Huh? Whose number and uh, name is there? Ah. Uh -uh. But he's inside now. Why would somebody that's inside be calling me? Why? Pick it now. I will not go and call him. No, I suggest you pick the call first since he is inside and he just called. Pick. Let's find out why he's calling. Hello, Chugwe Mega. Why are you calling me? Papa, uh, good afternoon. It's not Chukwemeka, it's um, Anne's friend, Miracle. Miracle, Anna's best friend. Chukwemeka left his phone in the city and came back home. Papa, I don't understand. Um, Papa, I don't understand what you're saying. I called because I have some... I called because I have something to tell you. Mm. Uh, Papa? Um, Chukwemeka is dead. Is that a joke? My son that is in my house in the village now, healthy, okay, and you are talking with court people, shot who? It's not my son. He was shot by some court boys in school today. If it's a joke, just stop it! That's my only son, stop that nonsense! What is he talking, what, 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 what is he talking about? Who was that? I, 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 so that some cut boy shot to go make that to go make it dead. Our what son that's our son that's in You know, before now, I don't used to believe in the existence of ghosts. I believe ghosts exist. What baffles me is how someone that just died appeared to his parents almost immediately. A 
beats my imagination. Those devils, they just wasted that guy's life. That guy had prospect. It's okay, my love. It's okay. I understand how you feel right now. I know what both of you shared. Okay? I don't even know what to say to you in these trying times. I'm so sorry and I pray the Lord comforts you. We're always going to be here for you. We're a family and that will never change. My love, I am so sorry. I know how much you both loved each other. I'm so sorry. was going to end this way. Those monsters. They snuffed life out of you so cruelly. Don't be sad. I did not come here to make you sad. I came because I missed you. you too so much my mother she wouldn't stop crying she did not believe she was going to lose her only son so soon In your final exams. The school examination is ongoing. I know. I had wanted to become a pilot. That dream was truncated by Sean. I will not rest until I see Sean and his boys go down. Yes. I must avenge my death. Yes. They've been arrested and they will soon be charged to court. I have to go now. Louisa is here. But you have to move on. Andy is dead and gone forever. Life is for the living. You know that. You have to make the most of it. I'm sure that is what Andy would have wished. That you come out of this school with first class. Louisa. I am my heart broken. I am hurt. 
person. I understand you, my friend. I do. But you have to move on. You have to find a place where you can find peace and happiness. Where you can accept yourself. Please, you can't go on like this. You are beautiful, smart and intelligent. Every guy wants to have something to do with you. So don't kill yourself. Please. No, he's, uh... What Andy and I shared was deep. I thought if I would ever love another. I'm telling you right now, you're beginning to sound like a broken record. That I am broken. I am broken already, can't you see? Anne, you have to put yourself together. You are beautiful. You will still find love. And you will make a beautiful family with that person. And he's dead and gone. Life goes on. <laughs> Move on. What is life without the one I love? Life means absolutely nothing without Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I have missed you. I have missed you so much. You're so lonely. There is no life for me here without you. I wish you were here. Because I have so many things I'd love to discuss with you. Yes, you called me. I was on my way to go see my parents to know how they were doing when I heard you calling me. Auntie, I have missed you. Please, can I touch you? No, you can't touch me. I'm a spirit now. A ghost. You can't touch me. Auntie. I told you you can't touch me. I'm a spirit now. Okay. Promise to stay away with me before leaving. What is it? Why do you look sad? I have been wandering from place to place. I can't find rest. I was killed untimely. I can't find rest. I know. I know you died. Trying to prove your love for me. Tomorrow is court. I will see you in court. Are you going to be there? Have I not been there from the beginning? True. I can't wait. Tomorrow is the judgment day. Mm -hmm. 
Machibanuka. I want you to brace up. Put yourself together. Tomorrow is the judgment day at the court. I know. I just pray and wish that our son finds justice. Hmm. Justice or no justice the pains of losing an only child can never be overemphasized. My son was gruesomely murdered for nothing. Hey. Age is no longer on my side. Else, I would have loved to give you another child. But that's not possible. Mm. <sighs> Hell! You can make a mom. As to extend, supposed to carry on my lineage, is gone. Hi! Oh! I okay. have learned to anchor my faith in Christ the living rock. I must be strong. <clears throat> I must be strong. Chukwemeka. Hey! Chukwemeka. Chukwemeka. I must. Very happy. I am overwhelmed with joy. You can say that again, babes. Serves them right for all the evil they did against humanity. Oh, they paid dearly for it, and I'm excited about it. <laughs> if anyone had told John that a day like this, him and his boys will be sentenced to death by hanging. Would you have believed? No. Never. <laughs> yeah. But that serves them right. This will serve as a lesson to other cultists in our school and other campuses. Mm -hmm. What nonsense. Mm. And you know that cultists in different campuses right now will be on the run. <laughs> in a very long run. You know why? Because they've made life miserable. They've infused fear in the lives of lecturers and students. People that came here to better their tomorrow. Nobody liked them. Nobody. Good. How? But you know, I'm happy. Because Andy is happy wherever he is right now. Certainly. I'm sure of it. He was in court. Hmm? Hmm? What? Andy. What? what? He came to court. He was seated alone in court. What baffled me was the way his face Loomed with so much happiness when the chief magistrate passed the judgment. He sorted for justice, and justice he got. Goosebumps, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, at this point, I think you should be in celebration mode. Babes, right? But you know that's not easy for Anne. I know. Come yeah. on, Faith. Andy. You have 
haven't visited me today. Annabelle, stop inviting me. I have gone to rest. Allow me to rest. I want you to move on with your life. Please, visit my parents once in a while. I will always do that. I will. Thank you. Now I can rest in peace. They have all been executed. Yes, they have. Goodbye, Annabelle. day reminds me of all we've shared all the promises to see your parents. I know they'll be so happy to see that I am I'm not done with my youth service. Sleep on till we meet on the resurrection morning.
Here is your medication. You have to try and get up and drink it, okay? I don't need any medicine. If you want, don't want to take your medication, how do you intend getting better? Mm. I think I'm better off this. I reject it for you. You're talking like an unbeliever. You will be alive. You will stay alive in the land of the living and testify the goodness of the Lord. Mm. Please get up. Nugo. Mm -hmm. I have no hope. I have no hope, no motivation to do it. May I hope you smile. God forbid. Mm -hmm. We are believers. Why are you talking as if you have lost your hope in Christ? Mm -hmm. They took my only eye. They made me childless. What am I living for? Mm. Mm. It's only God in heaven that created us and our son. He knows why he allowed that to happen. So, we still have to believe in him. All hopes are not lost. You have to be strong. Get up. Lord. God, you said. God remain silent and allow those mischief makers. I keep my only soul, my pride, the son of my youth. Oh. Mm. Hey. Nice. Stop recounting one. this. Stop oh. recounting. Baby. <laughs> Sinetto, Sinetto. I miss everything about you. Mm. What exactly did you miss the most about me? The way you do it to me. <laughs> Sinetto, you like Batsy, no? <laughs> I want to, to drive straight to the local government and back. Oh, <laughs> my senator, where you are the chairman. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm ready for you. Mm. All right, before my emotions and begin to you know, grow up. My cold, senator. I did it to do it for me. Oh, uh, Mama, it's okay. Gold in heaven. To comfort you both. Oh, as well. Thank you. As well. Thank you for the things you bought for us. God bless you. It's nothing. It's nothing. Um, Annabelle, mm -hmm. where did you get the money to buy those items? Mama, it's my savings from Malawiyo. Thank you so much. May God bless and replenish for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. You're welcome, Mama. You're welcome, Papa. Don't worry, eh? You'll be fine. <clears throat> if not for that, you would have been my daughter in law by now. <sighs> She's well. Baby. <laughs> Sinetto, Sinetto. You're the sweetest. <laughs> Sinetto. Am I sweeter than your wives? Well, the moon and the sun, they are both lights, but at different times. <laughs> <laughs> you know one of the reasons you like me is because I'm very direct. And when I ask questions, I like them answered. You haven't answered me yet, Senator. Answer me. Okay. All right. Um, drawing a, a comparison between my two wives and you is quite difficult. But then I have to let you know 
that. You're the best. <laughs> My senator, you're trying to say I give it to you hot, hot baby. Yeah. <laughs> but, hmm. but you have refused to marry me. I don't know why you like um, this hide and seek game. My senator. What you're asking me to do is to be your third wife. No now. Look at me. Look at me. My senator. That is what I want you. Oh. Please, I, I don't want peace. to be dragging with your wives. Let them remain your wives. So I remember your big big girl. Okay, okay, okay. Papa, sorry, oh? You'll be fine. Sorry. He has been like this since the death of Chukwu Emeka. He suffered from heartbreak. It is rare. I have never seen this type of situation before. In most cases, it's always the woman who suffers it the most. I'm, I'm surprised. You are right. It's the Christ in me that is making me to be strong. It's one of the gains, the big gains of being a born again. Yes, Mama. Even me. I know the trauma I suffered because of the death of Andy. Life became meaningless for me. Very meaningless after his death. I saw no reason to live again. Mbani, you have to stop it. All hope are not lost. You're still young. You're a good girl. Beautiful too. I know that God will give you someone who will love and care for you. Okay? Just take it easy. Relax. Andrew. Annabelle, please stop this. Stop it. Stop crying. I know that you and my son loved each other so much. But that 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 it's okay. God, I thank you. He said we should thank you. <laughs> Soup is so delicious. <laughs> you like? mm -hmm. You are a great cook. Not only that you are beautiful, but you are a super cook. <laughs> Wife material. Thank you, Mama. Please, you know. <laughs> Stop singing praises on me and enjoy your food. Oh? Mm. Remember, table manners. No talking while eating. Mm. You just reminded me of that. <laughs> but the problem with me is that. I can't stop praising you, <laughs> knowing that this uh, food is so delicious. <laughs> you are a great cook. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And yeah, she's right. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Mama, mm -hmm. there is something I really want to discuss with you and Papa after eating. Ah, I hope there is no problem. Um, there is no problem. Okay. Let me go and get his medicine so he can take it after eating. It's okay. You know where it is now. Yes, I am. After Andy's death, his ghost kept appearing to me. One day, for your aged parents, they are going to die childless. That is the reason I'm here. 
Tell them I said they should go for adoption. In that way, they will not feel my absence and they will not die childless. I don't understand. You want them to go for an adoption? Are you the one talking? Where do you want them to get the money for adoption from? I brought money for them on the day I was brutally murdered. I'm confused. Are you trying to say there is money in the great beyond? On the day I was murdered, as soon as I left my body, parents to use the money in that black traveling bag to adopt a baby boy and a baby girl and use the rest to better their lives. Andy, you mean as a ghost you stole from a dead man? I did not steal the money. That money belongs to my father. How? How? It's not making sense. That guy snatched the money from my father on his way to the bank. company came to the village to buy some portions of land from my father. They paid him a huge sum of money as he was taking the money to the bank in the city. Two bikes stopped him and snatched the money from him and sped off. Oh. Tell him to look at the bag very well. That is the same bag he was carrying on that very day the incident happened. <sighs> hey! My eyes have seen my ears. Ah! Yes, I remember. That day Chukwemeka came back. He was carrying a black bag? Yes. It's in his room. Let me check. Let me check. My dear, I come out from your shed. In the girl, socialize. Mm. Are you sure the bag will still be there? Yes. All his things are intact. Move yes. on with your life. One day, one day. <clears throat> you can't go on like this. This is the same bag. I was going to the bank that day that I was robbed. The same bag. Open it, let's see what is inside. Maker, my son. This is strange. Hi. Hi. Chukwe Maker, Wam. Chukwe Maker. This is the money we sold our acres of land just to make sure 
we send you abroad for your masters. Oh, oh. Papa. Mama. Andy told me what he wants you both to use his money for. Huh? What did he say? He said he does not want you people to die childless. He said he wants you people to go for an adoption. He wants you to adopt a boy and a girl. Use the remaining money to take care of yourselves and the children. Hi! Hmm, Chukwemeka, my son. I love this family so much, even at death. <sighs> You did not leave your parents hopeless. I know you must be happy wherever you are. I miss you. I miss you, my love. I pray I find the man. Just the way you did. Sleep up, Andy. Chukwe Meka. Ibe. Does it mean it was Andy's ghost that caused the accident? Something like that. Hey. I don't get. Well, he told me that he was the one who made the hit and run driver run over the thieves so that he can recover the money they stole from his father. So it's more like, yes, uh, the accident actually happened exactly when Andy was murdered. Mm. Wait, wait. So I need to understand it's a ghost who was visiting us. A ghost was visiting us. Is that what you're saying? Yes, please tell us. Yes, please tell us. I don't We need to know. Well, um, his ghost kept coming until his killers were all executed. Then he stopped coming. So a ghost was coming to this house. Hey. This is unbelievable. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. There was a day I heard Anne talking in the sitting room. I walked out and asked her who she was talking with. She denied it and made me look crazy even. Anna, am I right? Well, I was talking with Andy. Hi. But I didn't want to get you scared. Wait, Anne, Anne. <laughs> this is not true. Mm. Like, were you not scared that you are being visited by a ghost? Why, and this ghost would have never hurt me. We both were deeply in love. As a matter of fact, I still crave for his visit. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Me was sent to bring Zagomi's back. So let me use it today. So I guess that's sex. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we move. Hmm, looking so sweet. Thank <laughs> you. Where are you calling? Oh, the cab guy taking us to the party. Ah. A cab guy that uses a complimentary card. My sister. It's the cab guy who brought me back the other day. He gave me his card. What for, please? For what I am doing right now. Who packaging? They will not kill us. This can only happen here. Abi, which one is complimentary card? Bico, 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 bico. Now it's called him. Let's go, right? <laughs> Hello, bro. It's the copper you brought back the other day. Yes, please. I'm going for a party with my friends and I would like you to come drop us. Yes, now. Oh, okay, okay. See, so how is he? How does he look? He's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Left for me. I'll say that is the tricks. That is the strategy. This is how they sleep with girls. This is how they tie the girls. I'm telling you. Don't trust people like this, so they'll say Luisa this, that, that, that. See, your phone is ringing. I think it's the cop guy. Oh, he's the one. Hello. Oh, you're outside. Oh. We're coming. Yeah. Oh, we're coming. We're coming. The cab guy with complimentary car. <laughs> oh my God. For real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but what's keeping Annabelle? He must be that very oh, cute guy. Are we going to stand here waiting for her indefinitely? Mm. Oh, I think he's that really interesting cab guy. They, they're talking. But this is not nice. What's cab not guy nice? or not cab guy. My guy is waiting inside already. We're here to party. And we need to kickstart it. Mm -hmm. Come on. Can't you see the guy's interesting? He's exactly. good looking too. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. What what mm -hmm. what do you mean by my okay? Yeah, wait, are you are you are you normal? No, but he's cute. I know you don't like him because the cow guy. Is cute. You will not like him. He's cute. And he's fine. And he's, and he's fine. fine. He's cute. And he's fine. what? Hold on. And the cab guy. Yeah, he's cute. A cap guy. Okay. I'm fine. Taxi driver. I know that's the part you don't like. But cab is making it as if he's something. No, but he's fine and cute. Taxi driver. Cute and fine. Are you normal? No money. Let's yes, just go and wait. Oh she will find her way. She, he will free her. Okay, fine. He will free her. Fine. So, what's your name? Louisa. Was that why you called me out? Louisa. Well, I noticed you the moment you walked in with your friends into the club but I was wondering why you're seated all by yourself while they were sitting with their man that actually caught my fancy and attention to you okay Louisa so tell me <clears throat> does it mean you don't have a boyfriend I'm single <laughs> What's funny? Uh, well, it's funny because it's difficult to believe that a pretty damsel like you will be single. I mean, men in this part of the world are not blind. <laughs> you have your way with words, right? Not at all. He cheated, so we broke up. Caught in some. Your ex? Yeah, my ex. Well, if you permit me to say, I would say he's stupid for cheating on a morning star like you. I agree with you. 
I totally agree with you. He do not know what he's got. So tell me, can I be your man? I mean, you are that woman I ever dreamed of. You're my spark. You're my brand. Can you oblige me being your man? I don't know you, Bob. Very correct. What you get to meet people every day and a day begins a story. All right. It's not good keeping a pretty woman standing. Why not I take you to somewhere or better still drive you down to my house? Your house? Hell no, I'm not going nowhere with a stranger tonight. Oh. I am not. I mean no harm. I'm just trying to be friendly. Okay, okay. I can sit in your car with you and talk. But driving to your house tonight, definitely not. I can get to know your plates tomorrow some other time, but not now. You're a stranger. I like that. All right, to my car then. You're already leaning on my car. Oh, okay. Show me. Sure. Welcome to the place I call my home. Nice place, Dad. Thank you. You are welcome. Why not make yourself comfortable while I get you something to drink and eat? Food. <laughs> Don't you think it's too early to be thinking about food? I actually followed you down to your house because you insisted I get to know your place. Doesn't mean you don't want to take anything. No. I am fine. Right. So tell me about yourself. Tell me more about yourself. Me? I have told you everything you needed to know about me. Who should be doing the talking right now is you. Who is Bob? Bob is an architect. Single. And searching. But I think right now, he is no longer searching. Because he has seen a woman sitting right before him. So beautiful. With just mats. Very correct. But you see. I fell for you the very moment I set my eyes on you. The moment I saw what a beautiful damsel. I believe we can build a relationship. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe. Bob, Bob, Bob. I will be your girlfriend. And what if I'm asking for just more than a girlfriend? Let's be lovers.
in this life. Choice is there. Someone to make a big you by all means. Someone to take this life you as them see them. That's the way you they look for Sokoto. It there for Sokoto. Why can't you relax your mind? That's the way you they find. Only God go give them to you. Like say, like say, not that same man he be oh. A young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. He just said that same man where get good heart yo. Like say, like say. Ha! Can you imagine? No be car where I just pour water this morning. Just a drink water like fish. If you be fish, you talk now. If you be car, you talk. Eh? Which kind which kind of frustration be this one? Just a disgrace himself. No be, no be me the disgrace. Understand this. In this life, Someone to make a big by all means. Someone to take this life as they see them. That's the way you can look for so called. This one will still finish. Why can't you relax your mind? That's the way you can find. Only God will give up to you. Like say, like say, not that same man will be a young man where they hustle. The drink was all I said. He just said, Taxi man, where get good heart to you. Like say, like say, not that same man will be a Young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. He just they hustle to survive. Taxi man, like say taxi, that taxi man he be a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. The only taxi man where they share compliment cards. Like say taxi, that taxi man he be. Hello. Hello, Auntie Annabelle. Good morning, though. Uh, I bet I they road like this, so I don't nearly reach the club to come carry you now. Uh, I've left already. You and your friends? I think they've all gone. Okay, now. No, no, wala. Sorry for the inconveniences. My go now. My, my go back. Taxi man, wake it. Good heart, yo. Taxi, taxi. That taxi man he be a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. He just they hustle to survive. Taxi man, taxi taxi. That taxi man he be a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. The only taxi man where they share compliment cards. Taxi taxi. That taxi man he be a young man where they uh -huh. also to survive. What could be keeping Louisa? At this point, I must say that Louisa's lifestyle is beginning to piss me off. I mean, we all went to that party together last night. And here we are. Where could she, where, where could she be with that, that guy I saw her with yesterday at that party? I am beginning to get worried. Honestly, I just hope she's, she's safe. <laughs> Louisa. Louisa is safe. That I know for sure. She's safe. But I mean, how can she go home with a guy she hardly knows? I mean, who does that? <laughs> babe. You talk as if you don't know Louisa again. That babe is ready to sleep with anything as far that person is willing to drop. <laughs> and we all know that. So, seriously, this particular habit is beginning to get on my nerves. You girls need to stop already. You need to. It's no longer funny. See who is talking. Swear you did not sleep with Didi last night. Me? Mm -hmm. Sleep with Desmond. What for? No, seriously, what for? It's not even as if I like him to, to want to do such a thing with him. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, babe. 
Don't tell me you did not give it to him last night. Hey, what's wrong with you? Stop playing. Wait, wait, are you joking? Don't tell me you're still a virgin. Mm. Last I checked, it's my life. And I choose to give it to whoever is worth it. Not just anyone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't tire. I don't tire. So I say everywhere just dry. Everywhere just be like, say they pursue people for here. Nothing they happen. Eh? Now so now so we go the day. I tell you this. I didn't tell you this. See, you see this as he walk. But be say I too like him. But as long as he poof for my table, I'm okay. Oh. Ah, I'm not gonna kill myself. Oh. I'm okay. Oh. Ah. Play talk. Uh. You don't understand. Like say the the way the left way he did it. Now this same person go do build house. Build house. You see story. <laughs> now this kind of person uh, go. Why you tell me say you carry guests yesterday now? No, you carry go back. No, no now I carry them go yesterday. They say make I come back in the morning, come carry them. What color your money now? No, I reach there. The guests don't come out. I ah. know if I see work works his money. Wait till you see I just I did the talk. Nothing now. Nothing just there anyway. I, I, I don't tire. Person go work, 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 be like say he gets more money. The next thing he go carry that same money, put for this car. If I, now this car, if I work finish now, nah, he go tell me say he want new radiator. Now I go carry the money where I take say buy radiator. Or headlight go spark, go, go back. I know we they drive for now with that light. Or tire go boss. Now so say this guy, now they collect the money. Let me say, I beg, I beg. I want hammer, I don't be this kind of life I want for myself. Don't care. I beg, I'll tell you. It's they look you. I won't hammer, I won't hammer, I won't hammer. I don't defend you. I don't defend you. I don't understand. I don't understand. You don't understand. You won't hammer, you won't hammer. For you know what I mean? You don't follow your boy. You go follow Curtis. You go follow this one. Because you won't drive big motor. You see me, eh? It's going to be sad. I like this job. But I slap that they put food on my table. Me, I'm okay. Oh. I don't want to keep myself. Oh. And I don't want to do bad things. I don't defend you. Hammer, no, hammer, no, hammer. I mean, you know, be the same now. Okay. So it is sad. Maybe. The right guy will be giving her a trophy for giving him her virginity. <laughs> My darling, there is no trophy to be won for keeping your virginity. But wait though. Huh? You didn't give Andy your virginity. Even when you claim to love him so much. No this, madam. Who do they keep the virginity for? Who are you reserving your virginity for? Who? Jacinta. Did, did you? Did you have to bring Andy into this? Whatever. Did you have to bring Andy into this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, babe, don't, please. Annabelle, sorry now. Uh, Anne. Uh, Anne. Sorry, babes. I'm sorry. The, 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 the mother is still one, please. Okay. Don't, 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 on a serious note, go and apologize. I'm sorry. Babe, sorry. This is what I don't like. Imagine all her phones are off. I hope she's okay. That guy that she was with yesterday, does any of you know him? No. Look at what she's putting all of us into right now. It's past 12. 
and she's not here. What do we do? I would say we go back to the club and search for her. Good idea, Otto. Thank you. Mm. Start talking. Ah. Louisa, what explanation do you have to what you just did? A lot too. A whole lot. Let's start with the fact that I found myself a man. I have a new coach. I met him at the birthday bash and he's been all over me since we met. <laughs> and you too. Chief, Chief, you don't believe this here. Mm -hmm. mm. Seriously? Yes. Louisa. You mean you just met this guy and both of you are all over each other? Just like that? Of course. It was love at first sight. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think you just simply carried away with fantasies. Are you sure you didn't have sex with this guy? She had sex with him. You girls are entitled to your opinion. Louisa. It is going to be absurd if you actually open your legs to a man you met just yesterday night. Mm -hmm. You girls are entitled to your own opinions. I am just thrilled that I have finally found myself a younger man that is single too, rich, with six packs, so, and he's all over me. That is my own problem now. So... What are you going to do about Senator Briggs now that you have found love? He's still relevant in my life. Uh -huh. Very much relevant. How? <laughs> How do you want to do it? No. Don't tell me you want to keep the two men. Because it is very dangerous. You and I know that Senator will kill that guy if you see him anywhere close to you. You won't do anything. Ah. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? Okay. You want me to remain a mistress to a married man with two wives? Is that your prayer for me? What will happen if I marry this one that is young, with six packs, and he's single too? I beg, I beg, he will not do anything. I love the sound of that. You're beginning to sound reasonable. What advice? Do away with the whole idea of keeping Senator Briggs and that guy. Discard Senator Briggs and focus on this guy that you are claiming to be head over heels in love with. Love at first sight. <laughs> they had so much fun, I'm telling you. Like, they had a lot to eat and drink. <laughs> You keep saying a lot to eat and drink. Was it just a Nothing happened. Why and you guys you kept us here? Yeah, you kept us worried. I'm sorry. But you know when you find love, you know, you don't have sense again. Yeah. Right, you get what they see for you. You see, as KK people just they get passengers, like say, tomorrow, no, all of us pack for you. Guy, yeah, blessing our KK, me, I go enter. Uh, now, to you talk, oh. No, say, get one guy with my compound. Now, opposite me like this in the state. Now, can they drive? What them is all those uh, hundred naira, fifteen naira, two hundred naira? At the end of the day, if they gather, nah money, nah money. Nah money. Nah they can they go well out? They can they go well out? Malaka can go enter. I they tell you, those guys they make better money. Uh, and people know the people they like. When we say they go enter, breeze go they blow them. Maybe that yeah. one way go enter, enter. Let's say now nah, all those ones we get AC. Those yeah. bad guys. Nah, nah, but all know. this our type. People know they really like Nakeke. Nah, I can get things in the light. I tell you, see? Now I make a JJ go print this my complimentary card. If I drop you, I will just carry and give you. If you want my service, you will call me. And at least with that one now, you don't say, no, I know I walk the car. But they say that here where we park, okay? See. You know, go get passenger like that too. So. I know, but even at that step, eh, this complimentary card with the top. Don't be for this kind of thing now. No, oh, it's it's where it is, where balance where now? 
What do you mean? Where get you see where balance man? That's what they do. I mean, I don't like this idea of complimentary card. Oh, can not be a complimentary card? A compliment card. Where yeah! Lecturer! First class! See your certificate! Now be Taizi. Now Taizi now they graduate you. I hear you. Englishman! This is why you pay me, Sha. Because I know what I suffer for school. Now I just open my username. Hello? Yes, yes, uh, they are available. Okay, are they come, are they come there. That round about Abi. Are they come now? Don't get a passenger. Yeah, and a passenger. I bet you don't get like this. I swear down. Are they come? I go see you later now. Hey! This compliment they can't walk. I don't see myself now. Eh? I'll just go sleep. I'll go sleep because. The way where this junction be for my eye, and nobody won't carry Taizi today. Nobody won't carry Taizi. I won't go sleep. I can't wait till I get. Hello, babe. What are you doing? I'm just here, idling away. Can I visit you? You want to see me? Am I not free coming to see you? I never said that. If you want to, you can come. Alright, you see me before you know it. I will be waiting. Very well, love you. Seriously. Are you doubting me? You will have to prove it. How do you want me to prove to you that you mean the whole world to me? How? I don't know, but you still have to prove it. Very well then. I should prove it. I'm coming. <laughs> Why can't you relax your mind? That's where you define. Only God will go give them to you. Like say, like say, not that same man he be. A young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. You just said that same man where get good heart to you. Taxi, taxi, that taxi man he be a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. He just they hustle to survive. Taxi man, taxi taxi, that taxi man he be a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. The only taxi man where they share compliment cards. Taxi taxi, that taxi man he be a. If he drops you anywhere, he go give you one card. Yo. Like say, like say, that that say man he be yo. a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. This life is a charge. Anyhow, you choose to live your life, so be it. Yo. Baby, baby, ma, sweetie, sweetie, ma, never judge a boy by its cover. Baby, baby, ma, sweetie, sweetie, never you conclude because of appearance. After all said and done, I'm a girl, and then after everything, you check it. I said it. So Donka is not yet back. From where they called him since. Huh. I said it. This idea of driving a taxi with complimentary card. Mm -mm. No, me, I'm not okay with it. How am I sure it's no ritualist that have called him? I'm not sure Donka is okay. Let me go, let me, let me go and I'm not sure. Like say, like say, that that say man he be yo. A young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. This life is a job. Where are your friends? They've all gone out. 
you like staying alone. Don't you just like it? It's good. It has one definition. Which means, my girl is reserved, homely, homely, and cultured. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what do you do? Like what do you do for a living? I thought I told you I'm a student at the State University. Oh. My bad. I totally forgot. Okay. <laughs> so what's your discipline? I am studying French. French? Mm-hmm. You're not serious. I am. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you know a thing or two uh, about French. Sure. I was born in Togo. It's a lie. Homey, precisely. Okay. Okay, I think I'll be taking French lectures from you now, not my lecturers anymore. If you don't mind. I don't. <laughs> wow. Very fluent. Nice. Very fluent with it. What to do? What kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? What kind of country? What, 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 how, how did I end up here? Eh? A graduate like me doing a taxi job. Eh? This is how I'm going to continue. This is no longer funny. It's no, it's no, it's no longer funny to me at all. Eh? Every now and then I send CVs to different companies, different offices, nothing to show for it. They will tell me, come today, come tomorrow, come today, come tomorrow. Every day, nothing. Eh? Some will even collect money from me and tell me, don't worry. Collect this money, I'll, I'll, uh, uh, give me this money, I'll, I'll make provision for job for it. After giving them the job, they will tell me story. Either they say you're not Igbo, or you're not Hausa, or you're not your... It's just so much. So much. Eh? A graduate like me. See, see what I'm doing. Taxi. Every day they will insult me. Every day it's not even it's not even that I honestly who am I even complaining to? Someone someone sees me they will think I'm running mad, but it's just too much for me. I I, I can't deal. Huh? Me that is supposed to be working in an in an oil company. Every day I'm on the road. Every day. That's, what, that's, that's where the country has pleased someone. Because I'm not a rich man's child. If I'm a rich man's child, it's my father to just make call and say, do this thing, give my son a job. What a man will do now? It's well. It's well. I have to take my leave. But you just go here. What's the rush? Nothing. I got you this. Are you for real? Whoa. They're all for you. You're not serious. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is this nice? You like it? Like them. I love them. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's so thoughtful of you. Come here. <laughs> you deserve every bit of what you get from me. I've not even started. You're here to get more. Thank you. Always welcome. Hustle to survive, it's just a hustle to survive. Taxi man, taxi taxi, the taxi man he be a young man where they hustle. Hustle to survive, 
The only taxi man where they share compliment cards. Taxi, taxi, the taxi man he be oh. a young man where they hustle, uh -huh. hustle to survive. If he drops you anywhere, he go give you one card, yo. Taxi, taxi, the taxi man he be oh. a young man where they hustle, hustle to survive. This life is a choice. Anyhow, you choose to live your life, so be it your own. Baby, baby, my sweetie, sweetie. Where you doing now? It's coming. This spy, you go sleep. Oh boy, I feel like I said I wait till I go do now. Everywhere, everywhere is still dry. I know I know After all said and done, I'm a girl. And then after everything. Louisa, you mean your new spec brought all those gifts I saw in there? Mm-hmm. He did. That guy is more serious than I thought. Of course. That guy is deeply in love with my girl. And I'm a sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is high time you drew the line. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's obvious this Bob guy is madly in love with you. So, choose between him and Senator Briggs. Lisa here is an adult. And she is in the center of it all. And it's in her position to make a decision. Well, uh, our babe here has actually confided in us and told us that she doesn't want to be a third wife. True. So if I'm to say, I would ask you to choose Bob. Mm -hmm. And I feel you shouldn't be quick in making decisions. Yes. Take your time. Where the two guys? And then... You know what to do. <laughs> it's going to be a shame if those two men figure out you are cheating on them. Um, you know she just met Bob. So I think she's trying to figure out who to leave or who to stay with. And it's not going to be an easy decision. I still maintain that that's a firm to say if you take my opinion. Go for Bob. This whole idea of dating an old married man it does not just add up. I don't fancy it. Well, it's your choice. Hmm? But Donka, talk that way you talk. That's the thing they do me for body. I say. You know that I'll tell you where they I know, where they I know. Are. I know. Don't farm. Nine one guy, carry one girl, go there, lost for two days. Yeah. Nine a guy discharged. So as cleaners go there, made it for tidy the room. Nine they see say, the guy where him and the girl follow lost for there. Say the guy don't tie the girl legs, tie in hand. I am for back. Naked do. Let me say you just tie, just naked and I am for there. Gag your mouth, make sure you no know, shout. Jesus. Discharge. It's all a like pure wickedness. Pure wickedness, oh. So that means even the cleaner way go there, go see the nakedness of the girl, now. Huh? Yes, now. Nah, hey! Some people, I'm right? sure, I'm surprised saying you never, maybe, oh, we they tell me they know release and for internet. Because I know some people they record that. Hi! Maybe say it, it tire more. It tire and finish carrying phone. Discharge. It if you for thief bag where carry come. I don't want to I don't want country find that kind of person. That's what they say. Eh, that's now nah, it serves all these girls, right? Where they follow, where they follow people, where they don't know who they know. Nah, not nah, be the thing. Waka waka. That's what they not... say. Waiting how they go fee find the guy. This is what you are. Yes, sir. They don't be find that guy. Now I'm at when they call me for the matter. Say, may they check the city. Now the manager gonna say. And nobody, I don't understand why you go put CCTV. 
You know put who go they monitor the city. Fuck up. Now fuck up now. Now when everything don't happen for you, you can't go they size CCT. So I see the TV say na black and white. That home. <laughs> that home na black and white city. No, 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 the no. guy face be like, hey. You know this uh, anyway, man don't talk. Yeah, no, if you find that guy. If you say, but me, I say I go find him. Because it will zoom him in. But the face don't really care. But for this town, we go find that guy. You know we go scott field. I want to find him. Forget leave that one for me now. Maybe be our town. <laughs> this small town. What does this is happen for this our town? What does it happen? No? I say everybody need to take care of. No, you say person carry fine car. You see I'm full line and go on them. All these guys. Eh? The way where they are legs, they didn't move. The yeah. way they are legs, they didn't move for this time. You get what I'm saying only time. Say you know, they don't kill and cut. But let me go and cut the body now. Hey! They just dry you. I don't understand. Like, uh, this our work. I was not expecting to see you by my gate today. Uh, that's because you refused to see me after that night. I... 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 I was... I... Ah, uh, Mama, don't say that because you had my number. If you wanted to see me, you would call me. <laughs> well, I've been very busy, I'm sorry. So, where are we going today? I'm going for a job hard, so... Okay. Alright, let me say I will carry you for the whole day. Now, anywhere where you go, make me in front of me. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure you have a lot of things to do. Just ah. drop me off and you can go. Mama, no worry. I mean, say me with a go. That one no the issue. Uh, just tell me where we go. I go wait for you. That one no the issue. Yeah? Thank you. So, so how are you doing since now? This all. Don't mind this jobless lady. Ah ah. Why they call yourself jobless? You know jobless. My brother, it has not been easy. So, for what do you study, sir? Medicine. Medicine? Yeah. That is to be doctor? Yes. Ah. Oh, wow. Now, better cause be that, too. Your family is going to be proud of you. You know what to be medicine? Yeah? They are. They are. They are. Oh, wow. So, now me say, where you they go find work now for a hospital? Exactly. So which, which hospital where would they go now? Well, I want to go and submit my CV at Maybell Hospital. Maybell Hospital? Where that Maybell they say? Maybell. Okay, okay, oh, Ophel Road. Ophel Road. Okay, no worries. I expected you would know the place. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry, I pray say you go walk out though. I pray so too. Ah, no, no, say doctor, they find work. Oh, ah, wow. <laughs> Hello? Who be this? Oh, make I come meet you if you can't carry you. I beg no verse, so I know if you come now. I get work, eh? I never know when I go finish. No verse, just, just call another. Wait, make I send you number where you go call, eh? Okay. Bob, you were telling me about one girl you just met. Honestly, you need to see her. You really need to see this girl. Wow. What was that name? Pretty Lois. Louisa. Wow. I have no doubt in my mind. At least from her name, Louisa. She's been a very pretty girl. Sometimes you sound like a soothsayer of a truth. She's wonderful. You need to see her look. She's tall. Whenever I look right into her eyes, I see a gentle, respected, and reserved woman. 
you don't know it. <laughs> so why? Take me to her. When am I seeing her? Come on. Don't be in a hurry. We'll see her later in the day. I think I'll be going towards a place later in the day. Wow. That would be great. I know I really can't wait to see this girl. I just capture your heart. Man, look at the way you're sounding. <laughs> She's really pretty. I must say. You see, from the very moment I set my eyes on this girl, I knew something changed in me. You know, I met her the very day I broke up with Monique. Forget it. Monique is out of the picture. That makes it more historic. I don't even, I don't even know why you are bringing her name up here. Well, honestly, let's just focus on this particular girl you're talking about. Take me to her, let me see her. I mean, I need to have a clearer picture of what you're saying. I will. Definitely. I will. You see her. Baby George yourself. Of course. Can't wait. Well, let me just freshen up. So go out. Take care. You make it snap. Sure I will. Okay. Hustle to survive. He just the hustle to survive. Taxi man. Taxi taxi. The taxi man give me a young man where the hustle. The only taxi man where they share. I've submitted my CV. And they promised to get back to me. Okay. Nice one. But uh, one of them. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Alright, let's go to eat something. Let's go. Uh, I'll just eat when I get home. No, no. I, I refuse. Let's go. I'll get you lunch. Okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. Thank you. Hustle to survive. The only taxi man where they share compliment cards. Taxi, taxi. The taxi man. The young man where they hustle. Uh -huh. Hustle to survive. If he drops you anywhere, he will give you one card. Taxi, taxi. The taxi man. The taxi man. Baby, baby, man, sweetie, sweetie, man, never thought it would like it's coming. Baby, baby, man, sweetie, sweetie, never you conclude because of a pair of eyes. After all said and done, I'm a girl, and then after everything, you check it. Taxi, taxi, the taxi man he be a young man where they hustle, hustle it's to survive. Your door. I'm a novice, so they, they say I go change the food door. Me, I never, I never really get money to change the food door. I just they follow them up like that. It's okay. Thank you so much. Eh? Uh, you're welcome. Man. It's alright. Welcome. Okay, go be now. Sorry, hold on. Ah, Mama, if na money make you forget that more. Your fair. No, no, no worry. No worry. Just just hold on. Duncan, you've done enough. I insist to you take your fair. Mama, don't worry. You need it. Okay, just, I understand. Just... Let me add something. No, 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 Mama, you don't get it. It's not about adding anything. Just hold on. You, you feel need money normally, maybe to buy something. I'm okay. I'm fine, honestly. Okay. Thank no, you. Allah. It's fine. I believe, say, if you get this work where they find now, you go to find me money now. Normally, as they be. Uh, I I go be now. Thank you.
that's a guy. He drove me round town in search of job and still brought me back without collecting his fare. And also bought me food. He bought me food. Oh, he's such a nice guy. Such a nice guy. What a guy. What's the big deal in what he did? He did what every young man supposed to have done. Jacinta, huh. please don't tell me you're an ingrate. Just appreciate what the cop guy did. Santa, hmm. hmm? did you give him any money to hold for you? Did you give him one error to hold for you? And don't forget, he did not charge Annabelle anything for rendering his services to her. Yet he got us this very delicious food. Hmm? Delicious. Anyways, I don't know why you guys are attacking me. I did not say that I am not grateful. But you're acting like you're not. Hey! Hey. You're not saying that you are not grateful, but I perceive ingratitude mm -hmm. in your speech. Oh, only for this mama put that the cab driver bought for us. They will not let me hear what in this house. It's not as if the food is even sweet, so... Hey, what, what is it? it? What is it? What is it? I will see what your mother cannot mm -hmm. say. She says it's not sweet. It's not sweet. She says it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. And so your neck is warm. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I'm just managing the food, that's all. I'm not managing anything. You're hungry. You guys are hungry. Come on, you eat before you die. If they follow you, they will press your neck, break you. You just manage this your mouth. No, they are just abandoned. All my friends have graduated. Even Annabelle. She's done with service. I am still here. Writing carryovers upon carryovers. When my mates were writing tests and exams, I was busy gallivanting with Senator Briggs. I even traveled with him to Abuja. <sighs> Tired. There, please help yourself. Come in. I'm very tired. I don't even have the energy to get up. Hi, doctor. How are you? I'm fine. Ah, welcome. Yes. Ah, well, it's looking, it's looking lonely. Where's everybody? I just got back from school and. I met nobody in the house. Oh, okay. That's good to hear. Okay, I just um, stopped by to see you girls. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I got you. I got you guys this. Oh, don't fan. This is a lot. Oh, come on. It's, it's nothing. You're such a nice guy. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay, I have to run along. Um, help me tell Annabelle I stopped by, yeah? I will. Alright. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Such a great guy. 
I wish Annabelle would just accept to date him. He's good looking too. This guy is something else. I know. He's too good to fault. I'm telling you, he's such a nice guy. And what shocks me every time is that he has really small, he has little, or even nothing, but he enjoys sharing it. Yes. Yes. Exactly my point. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Since you don't have any guy you're seeing now, why don't you give Duncan a chance? Date yeah. him. Are you being serious right now? Uh, what have I said that is wrong? Miracle, you're talking rubbish. You're talking. How can, how can you even say that? Mm. Eh? How can you advise Annabelle to death that broke, dirty cap guy? Instead of, of, of this man who has been there, who has been all over her, who has been coming around, who has been struggling to be, and he's nice, he's good, he's cute. What for? Who does that? Anyway, it is her duty to do what's best for her. Ah. Mm. Okay. My own is that. That guy is nice. Very nice. You need to have seen me almost jumped out of my skin when he opened his handsome mouth to say I got you guys this stuff. Ah joy <laughs> filled my heart. You know I don't know why you girls are even working yourselves up. It's not as if I am ready for any relationship right now. I'm not. Um, um. In as much as I know what you're up against. Baby girl, you know you need a man. Yes, you do. And Duncan is good. You think? I know. See, he's doing all this just to get your attention. Mm -hmm. What nonsense attention are you talking about? <laughs> what attention? Eh? See, eh? The next time that dirty guy will step into this house with that his rubbish gift. I will give him the piece of mind. You will not try it. It's not your business. I see it one day. I see it one day. You will not try it. What do you know? You do not do that. You do not do that. to mingle with big girls. Huh. I won't allow it. Oh. Oh. My friend is. <laughs> Baby. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm very well. Just that I'm missing you. You know I miss you way, way more. So, how is Abuja? Good. Yeah, Abuja is fine. Abuja is doing just great. Um, but I am currently in Asaba. I just touched down. You can't be kidding me! You're in Asaba! I'm not kidding you. I am in town. I'm in Asaba. <laughs> Okay, darling. See you in a jiffy. <laughs> Love you. Hmm. It goes for life. I just can't wait to see my baby. My Felix is in town! <laughs> the big guy is in town. <laughs> 
big and rich. He's <laughs> in town. So, let me go and get ready. Meet him up. I said, well, use your points, please. Don't go for broke girls. <laughs> go for big girls. So, please, let me go and dress up. I'm we going to meet my girl. You might be serious. <laughs> Baby, go for big guys. God forgive you. Knowing her has been the best thing that has ever happened to me. God, I'm so grateful for this day. Jacinta, what is keeping you? Santa, please come out already. Oh. I want to look good for my guy, okay? Hmm. Women and makeup. What are you painting? <sighs> yes, babe, sir. Wow. Sets. La baby, la hot. <laughs> you look fabulous. Oh, thank you. Sir. You look dangerously beautiful. Oof. I have missed you so much, my love. I've missed you more. So, how is Abujan business? Well, it's good. We're kicking it. <laughs> so, how are your friends? Ah, they are there. They are fine. Mm. Mm hmm. And you said Annabelle was done with her youth service? Yes, Annabelle is around. Just that. She is giving everybody cause to worry. Mm. Yes. How so? I, 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 I don't understand. Could you? Could you believe that? Annabelle practically refused to date any other man since the death of Andy. You see, baby, in all honesty, I totally understand everything she's going through right now. Andrew was a great guy. He was a jolly good fellow. And we were all there when... when he was gruesomely murdered in cold blood. Yes. But it's been a while. She should just get over it. And move on. She has to. Annabelle is a nice girl, a very good girl. She deserves better. I know, baby. Now let's focus on us, all right? <laughs> let's talk about us. So. <laughs> You've been looking beautiful, eh? Right? Mm. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so happy you to see you. Too. So happy to see you. <laughs> this cab guy is too nice to afford. <laughs> Honestly. I don't even know where he gets the money to buy all this thing for us every time. Because it's a lot. Yeah? Okay. I think I'm beginning to like him. You like him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with you liking him, but you really have to be careful. Careful about what? You never can tell. Okay. <clears throat> she said like, she did not say love. Because what's the difference? I'm not going to tell too. <laughs> 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 He's trying. And he got us bread too. Yeah. yeah. And I like him. He's cool. Yeah. He's just, he's just there. So baby, tell me. Are you done with your project? Yes, I'm done, but I'm not done with typing. Hmm. How long have you been typing for? The typist is not yet done. The typist? 
Yes. I thought you were the one typing it yourself. Maybe I don't have time to type. I have to give it to her to help me type. You don't have time. I mean, what exactly have you been doing all this while? Not like you have a job now. But, babe, please don't tell me you're lazy like that. Baby. Yes, I understand. I should have done it myself. Oh. Sinta, you're a graduate of computer science. Now tell me one thing that that typist is going to do to your projects that you cannot do yourself. Baby, are you angry with me right now? I'm just saying, if you had typed that project yourself, by now you could have finished it. That's all I'm saying. I hate stress. I don't like stress. Excuse me? You hate stress. Excuse me. Baby. See, you shouldn't be a problem to us, please. Listen, I, I, I'm not saying it's a problem, but... Yeah, hello? Are, are, are you normal? What do you mean you're confused? Are you trying to tell me you can't handle a situation in my absence? even as a general manager. My friend, just look for a way around it and don't, don't call me on phone. What's your problem? Are you not ashamed of yourself? So tell me, are you sure you're okay with this? Mm, I'm okay, thank you. You did more than enough. How do I make you understand? Now listen, let me tell you. I want to make sure you're satisfied. If you're not okay, we can do more shopping. Because you mean a whole lot to me. So shopping for you is something I do with ease. And I'm telling you that you did more than enough. Really? Mm-hmm. You know you're always a gentleman with me, and that's what I love the most about you. Thank you. All right, then. Let me take you home.
thanks so much. You're welcome. You know I love you, don't you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I can do anything for you. Anything. Anything? Yes, anything. Just mention it. I want a trip to... A trip to Miami. Trip to Dubai. UK. Name it. You couldn't just wait for me to finish. <laughs> well, I want a trip to your heart. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. You have it? I promise you this day you have a trip to my heart would not go slow. <laughs> Are you really sure of this love or you just want to take advantage of me? Take advantage of you? How do you mean? I don't understand. I have had broken a lot by the ones I loved, trusted, give everything to. So I would just really want to trade with caution for my heart's sake, of course. I tell you something, baby. And I want you to take my word. Please let me be the soccer you seek. And I promise not to break your heart. Trust me. You know, your one good thing that's happened to me. Each time I look at your face. Does it make you smile? It makes my world. <laughs> Can you see that all the time? Just, just, you know, make me want to jump out of the cupboard. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh wonderful. My God. You're Thank amazing. You. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Hey, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, honey, I just got an emergency call that my attention is needed in Abuja. Baby, what kind of call is that? I thought we were here to spend time together, like today, tomorrow, and next. What is it? It's 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 duty call, baby. My director just called me that I should take the next available flight to Abuja. It's really important, baby. Baby, you traveled all the way to see the love of your life. Are you telling me that you didn't tell your father you were coming to Asaba to see me? Uh, that's the thing, baby. I just told you that my father ordered me to take the next available flight to Abuja. And you know, Chief Martins, he doesn't like to be kept waiting. It's fine. Since you have made up your mind already. No problems. It's okay, baby. I'm, I'm really sorry that he came down to this spot. In that case, I have to see you off to the airport. That would be amazing. And baby, I promise you, I will make it up to you. I promise. So Jacinta is not back yet. <laughs> she is better to come back. When her boyfriend, the son of a multi billionaire is in town. But Jacinta is lucky. Very lucky. She always attracts rich and good men. <sighs> Let me ask you. Between Collins and Felix, who do you think Jacinta would choose as husband? Hmm. You know, she loves them. She, she loves them equally. I mean, 
I believe or I think who proposes to her, that's the person she will choose. Right? Really? <laughs> Miracle. Hmm? Is it possible to love two men equally? They are both good to her. So, yes, she can love them. She can love them. She can love them both. Yes, it's possible. Hi, babes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, I'm cool. I'm almost on my way right now. I can't wait to. I'm coming. <laughs> All right, bye. See you soon. Who was that? Ah, my friend. Really? Yeah. see me off to the airport. Maybe I'm afraid. I won't be able to see you after the airport. Mm. Some other time, okay? It's I okay. wish you safe journey to Abuja. Thank you so much. I would love to spend more time with you. But you have to see your dad, right? Oh yeah, sure. Take care of him. You too. I'll miss you. <laughs> I'll miss you more. <laughs> Alright, safe trip. Alright. Bye. Take care of yourself. Yeah, baby.
Wow. Sweetheart. See who we have here. Yes, I'm here. Now tell me. What are we doing here? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? I don't know what you tell me. Okay. I think I will tell you. Okay. Well, I came to get you a car. Yeah. Tell me. Oh my God. At least to show you how much I love you. Oh my God. No, 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 no. I think. Go for oh the last mile at See, boss, now here you can't buy a car. How these ones get so you they see so? If they don't see, say something drop for your pocket. They go follow you, sleep with you as they want. So far, now that cash they define. I am going to go out of my way to make sure that I create a scene in here. No, boss. I look you like Percy where goes to school. See, this time at time, you go treat them like Percy where they're educated. Percy where goes to school. And so that they treat this kind of case. Drive me in there. Uh, Ross, the way you want to handle the case, it's not going to make sense. Oga, please drive me in there. Uh, no, well, I shall not. No, not for my business. Please just drive. Do what I paid you for, please. Do you like it? I like it. Jason, sir. So this is it. This is it. So this is how much you love me. Ben. Who is this guy? Tell him! No, go ahead and tell him! Few moments ago you were with me! And, 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 and now you're with another guy? For because because of a Nigerian used 2010 Toyota Camry? Man, Jesse, I said, sir, who come is on. this guy? Talk to me! Are you suddenly deaf and dumb? Who is this guy? I am the guy who picked your call in the hotel. Listen, I've been following you. I picked up your call. I've been training you, I suspected all your foul movements and, and, and this is it! Jessica, I am disappointed in you. I, I would never have imagined that you could do this to me. Listen, I lied to you about the call from my dad in Abuja. I just wanted to use that to discharge you so I can train you to this, to this! Now tell me, what is going on here? Is it true? Talk to me, is it true? Oh. <laughs> You're not serious. Of course I'm serious. It happened. Trust me. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't expect me to believe that. Mimi. <laughs> Won't you leave Bob to continue lying? Come on, babe. Why would you say I'm lying? How can you say a goat gave birth to half human, half goat? Doesn't mean you girls don't believe me. No, okay. It happened in Nasara State. I am telling you the truth. In as much as I know that a lot of things happen these days, you can't possibly be telling me that a man impregnated a goat. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's not possible. Who acts if not a man? Hmm. Of course, a man impregnated a goat. Yeah. <laughs> Jacinta, so this is how you want to pay me by for being nice to you? You want to, you, 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 you are biting the finger that fed you? I picked you up from zero, from zero, Jacinta. I, 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 I saw you through your, 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 all your studies and then... What, what explanation do you want to give to me for being a cheat? Jacinta, I paid all your tuition in the university. I, I did... Everything for you, and this is how you pay me back because of the 2011 Nigeria used to hit a Camry. You know what? I'm going to shock you right now. Why is the deal I hear? Come here, please come. What is the most expensive car? What is the, the latest and the most expensive car you have on this lot? Uh, the Lexus first is over here, sir. Oh, oh, this one? Yes, How much is it? It's about 17 million, sir. 17 million naira? Yes, Give me your account number. What bank? Uh, Call your number. Uh, yeah? Five nine. Yes. Yes. Successful. Uh, Mr. Man? Congratulations, you just have yourself a brand new car. Uh, just hey, Please hey, write all the documents sir. in his name. Hey, thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey. 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 
24 carat gold Madame, with a 50 carat VVS diamond. I bought this. I wanted to propose to you. But, 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 but just a few moments you went to the bathroom. I was just looking at it. And then the call came in. And so something told me to pick up this call. But I, I was trying to give you the privacy. And I had to pick up the call. And, 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 then, and then I heard his voice. Another man telling me how sweet you were in bed. Telling me how, how you how he can't wait to devour you, to spread your thighs. Please. Jacinta. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed in you. Oh God, please. You have a good day. Please, please, please. Everyone will leave me alone. Please, if you me. touch me, I, I am going to hey. Please, I beg you. Hey, come on. I will. Please, please, please. Mama, leave me alone. Are you stupid? Please, Felix! 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 Half good, half human. Wait. Hmm. That actually means someone made love to it. That's a man. I am not disputing the extent men go in seeking sexual satisfaction. But sleeping with a goat, it's a no. How do I make you guys understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's say it this way. What about ladies that sleep with a dog for money? Hmm. What do you guys say about it? Um, honestly, the kind of things happening right now is unimaginable. The extent people go for money. <laughs> I'm telling you. <gasps> do you know, I heard of a guy who took a certain girl to a hotel, tied her legs and hands like open apart, raped her mercilessly, without even bothering what becomes of her. This same monster went ahead and collected her phones, <laughs> left her in a position in the hotel. Really? I'm telling you. That's too bad. It happened in this town, here. This town? Yes. Jacinta, who was that guy? Okay, um, that was Chief Martin's son, his only son, yes. Chief Martin's? Yes. Chief Martin's airline in Abuja? Yes, yes, his only son. See, baby, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, please. Forgive me. Whoa. Forgive me for You're everything. Sorry. Yes. You are sorry? Yes, I'm sorry. For deceiving me all this way? Please have mercy. I'm sorry, please. Forgive Let's me. Let's take it, It is over between us. Oh, baby, baby, wait I didn't tell you, I did not even waste my heart wait, and wait, money. Wait, 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 let me explain. You explain see, what? See, 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 Felix. Felix saw me through the university. He, 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 he took care of me. And you couldn't tell me about him or this wife? I didn't tell you because I didn't know how you would feel about it. Please, I was only respecting your feelings. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Please, Jacinta, Sir. like I said before, yes, baby. it is over between us. Baby, no, don't no, even no. come close to me baby, again. Baby, you can't do I this. I thank God I do not even waste my heart and money getting you a car. Baby, you can't just do this to me. This time I don't have any other person. It's just you. I don't think I don't listen. Baby, what? Listen, don't even come close to me again. <laughs> Anywhere. Don't even, in fact, don't call my line again. Please, please I beg you. Forgive me. Forgive me. Like me. Fuck it. Come on, come on. Hey! 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 I will just give myself. Oh, like that, my friend, sir. 
Oh, how will I tell them? How do I start? How do I even start? Louisa, I am happy for you. Jane, new love has finally found you. <laughs> yes. Bob is such a good guy. To think he hasn't even asked you for sex. Yeah. He truly loves you. I know, right? Mm -hmm. But my problem now is how to break up with Senator Briggs. It's simple. Very. When next he flies in from Abuja and calls you to come to you people's usual hangout, yeah. tell him he cannot. But he can't continue dating a sugar daddy. That you want something more serious. Really, girl? And have you forgotten that he has asked me to marry him several times? And I've been the one to leave. You are the center of it all. Stop making it seem as though this whole thing is too difficult. Girl, tell Senator that you cannot be married to a man who already has two wives. <laughs> tell him you want a younger guy. Go ahead and end whatever you have with this senator and yes. move on with Bob's. Louisa, Anne is right. You have to end whatever you have with that senator and move on with a guy that truly loves you. Come on. Your happiness should be the most important thing here. But I am confused. Very confused. Why? I mean, Bob hasn't even said anything about marriage yet. He has not proposed. And I just don't want to walk out of Senator's life, you know. Mm. It's like Pennywise, I'm foolish. <laughs> Louisa. It is going to be a crying shame if Bob finds out you've been cheating on him. Believe me, it is going to break him. That guy who just walked out of this place. It is written all over him that he loves you. I mean, take a look at the way he was, he was kissing you. The gift. All over. Everything. Oh. Girl, don't miss this guy. You. to stick to a man. Look at me. Oh, will I tell her of that? Oh, will I tell Louis? My friends don't oh, like to tell them. Oh, will I tell them? Oh, God. I don't even feel like going home. Where do I go from here, God?
This life is for the living, my dear. I got much from your shade. In the go, socialize yourself. This is not the end of the world. Move on with your life. Jacinta. Are you okay? Jacinta, you are back. Jacinta, what happened? Talk to us now. Did anything happen? Cinta. Are you okay? Whatever happened would have been very bad and deep. What is it? Talk to us. Hmm? Please. What happened? If you don't talk, you'll not feel relieved. If you talk now, you see now, 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 you'll feel relieved. The problem shared is I have solved. Of we all are like sisters. Mm -hmm. Tell us, did anything happen between you and Felix? Because when you left here, you were so excited. Very right? happy, oh. Mm -hmm. So why did you have to return like this, in this kind of mood? <laughs> <laughs> I lost Felix. How? I don't understand. How? I equally lost Collins. Ah. It's not making sense to me. What did you Okay. I left here to see Felix, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I went to our usual place where we normally meet. Okay, we are together. And the next thing, Collins started calling me. I decided not to take Collins' call. Am I supposed to take the call? No, no. I didn't take the call. Then, after everything, I went to the bathroom to freshen up. I didn't know that as I was in the bathroom, the colleagues called back again and Felix took the call. Hey! Okay, I came out of the bathroom. It's smiling, you know. I didn't know anything. The next thing Felix told me that his dad called, that he should fly back to Abuja immediately. I was even worried why he said it, it was urgent that he had to go. And then he started dressing up. I dressed up and left. Immediately I left, Collins called me back again. But I should meet him at, at the car stand along Summit Road. Mm -hmm. I entered KK to go and meet with Collins. I didn't even know that Felix and that KK immediately and followed me. Yeah. Ah! <coughs> hey! I got to the car stand and saw Collins. Collins said he called me out there to buy me a car. He was showing me. I just a company that he was there to buy for me. I was happy looking at the car. The next thing, Felix appeared. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Do you know what Felix did? What? Right before my presence. Felix bought a car worth of 50 million naira for a KK guy that brought him. Wait a minute. I'm confused. He bought the car and <coughs> that. That him, oh! Hey! That's true. I 
saw it with my Koroko eyes. Hey! That is not all. <laughs> Felix brought out 24 carat gold ring. According to him, it's worth 1.5 million naira that he wanted to use to propose to me. He did not propose to me. I did not get the 15 million naira worth of car. Even the Toyota Camry from Collins, mm -mm. I did not get them. That is how. Felix left me. I said, "It's over." Mm. I went to Felix. Felix left me. I ran back to Collins. Collins said, "It's over." That was how I lost both of them all. It's over, it's over, it's over everywhere. No. I lost two six bags. Hey, you are them. inside the lot. You are inside the lot. Yes. Ah. <coughs> Sorry. You see? You see what I keep telling you all? You can never serve two masters at the same time. It's not possible. Now look where it has landed you. I lost two six packs in the same day. Oh, that's the one that's <coughs> It's a pity. It's a pity. Sorry. Hey! How do you hear from this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know. Who can hear from this kind on this kind of thing? I don't even know. I cannot heal. I cannot heal on this one. I cannot heal. I cannot heal. I cannot heal. Six packs, dollars, pounds. You Healing is <laughs> very far away from me. Yes, yes. Duncan, thank you very much for honoring my invitation. Oh, it's fine. It's, it's nothing. I called you for two reasons. Duncan, I know I see you as a friend and a brother. And I really do appreciate you a lot because deep down inside me, I believe and I trust that you're a good man. Oh, thank you very much for the compliment. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Donka, I'm really bothered. I'm bothered. Donka, I used to see life from a very different light. But a lot has happened. And life has taught me how to respond differently to them. My friends, all of them get attracted to very young men. And rich too. But Donka, when it comes to my case, it's not like that. I get attracted to married men. Married men only. Up until a few weeks ago when I went for Jacinta's ex-boyfriend's birthday party and I met this very young, smart and rich guy called Bob. He's been on me since then. But before now, my sugar daddy, Senator Briggs, who already has two wives, asked me to marry him a few months ago. But I refused because, I mean, I don't want to end up with a married man. I want a young man. That's why I got attracted to Bob. I mean, I want a man with six packs, and he has it. Okay. Well, from what I understand from your story is um, you're confused. You don't know you're into Senator Briggs because of his money. I guess. And then again, you want a single guy. That's the person, the, the kind of um, person you want to settle down with. Okay. So if you ask me, I would say, is if you want a single guy, then you should place your mind on that because what you think is what you attract. If you really want a single guy, then I would advise that you stick to that and 
They will come for you. Are you advising me not to marry Senator Briggs? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. If, um, well, for Senator Briggs, who has two wives already, I would not advise you to settle down with him. But you know, it's, it's what you want. If it's what you want, then fine. But me, if I should advise, like the way you, you, you're asking for my advice, I would say, you don't need that. You're a beautiful girl, and there are so many single, responsible, rich guys out there who, who still want you. Okay, so there is no need settling down to be wife number three. I won't advise that. I advise you set your mind towards what you want. As a single guy, pray about it and definitely they will come for you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Jacinta, yeah, okay. can you for once say the truth? Whose car is this? Why can't I believe you? Why? I'm not the kind of friends who I get. Even when they know the truth, they still cannot believe me. Why can't you guys believe that this is my car? You counted no. My latest go. car. In my, my, no more. No more walking. Jacinta, whose car is this? No, I believe it. So, as you can see, I'm now a car owner. No more walking with my legs. Are you guys? Are you angry that I can no longer walk with, walk with my legs? What is her problem? I'm never Like, are you guys serious right now? You are not happy for your girl. But I got a new car. See, 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 see. Jacinta, mm -hmm. so you mean you went to hire a car? For what? Calm down. Very soon, you guys will understand why I did what I did. So calm down. Jacinta, hmm? <laughs> you mean you went to hire a car, which I'm very sure must have cost you a fortune, just to impress guys? It's a big no for me. And it's not even worth it in any way. I see. Very soon. I mean, soon. You guys will understand why I did what I did. Let me tell you guys, eh? You see, men respect women who have cars. Yes! They don't see them as parasites. Did you get that? I should be teaching you guys. You guys don't know anything. <laughs> Seriously, Jacinta. There is no need for this stunt you're trying to pull. Come on now. It is dangerous. 
Besides, we all know that fake life is expensive. Be original now, girl. Exactly my point. Do you have to live a fake life to prove a point? Okay. What for? It makes no sense to me. Fine. I understand you guys. You're trying to be concerned, right? I appreciate that a lot. Really. Because I'm doing well as my friends. <laughs> but the truth is that I am not returning this car. No. I am not. I paid for one month. And once the one month elapsed, if I've not gotten what I wanted, I'll pay for another one until I get what I want. You're not serious? Yes. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm not kidding you, babes. See, as I lost my two guys same day does not, does not mean my life has ended. It's not the end of my life. I have to move on. I need to be hooked up again. I need to hook with another. In fact, man, again, I move on with my life. Okay? And I, and, I, and I thought you would not recover. I thought you would not recover from it. So, that's your motive for all of this. I don't know why you guys, I don't know if, I don't know why you're getting yourself worked up. I don't know why you're getting yourself worked up. This is what I want, okay? So calm down, you guys. Shoo, 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 okay? Mm, I have a call. <laughs> Babes, did Miracle tell any of you should be spending the night at Patrick's house? You know how this love thing plays out. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Because you know what I experienced was campus love. Maybe we should go back to kindergarten. Start from the scratch to tutor you. This does not call for insults. Dear yeah, friend, I didn't mean to do that. Please, you guys should not even start. What you and I should be thinking of right now is that to get ourselves good men, kind men, handsome men, like Mimi and Anne. Me, I don't, I don't want to settle down when I'm old though. I want to have children. I want to get married. And I don't want to meet menopause before I do that. Don't, don't be so. You just said miracle and Anne. Anne? You know me, me and Anne. Anne? Anne has someone serious now that you don't like. Half a... <laughs> What's your plans? Um, Duncan, what are you guys up to? That's true. It's been a while since he came here. He just disappeared into thin air. No. Okay. Well, thing is, my Duncan actually got a job in one establishment in town as their company's driver. Oh, oh my God! You see, lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boy. Yeah. Wait, He's a good wait, guy. Wait. Babe. Fine girl like you. You don't know how pretty you are. Eh? Hmm. Dating a common driver. Okay, look at what you're saying. From a taxi driver to a company driver. What what is the difference? Jacinta, how is that any of your concern? Why do you keep drinking paracetamol for another person's headache? I don't like poverty for you. I don't like it. You're so pretty to, to go for that. Okay? <laughs> Taxi driver. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> to a company driver. Sure it's not funny. Oh, baby. Okay, so dining in. Dining in. Woo! Baby, you know what? What? I'll be the one to serve. No, you can't do it. I'll, I'll do it. No, baby, let me dish the food. Alright? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> yes, let's see what we have here. Because you are... Whoa! Whoa! Fried rice. 
Yes, with <laughs> drumstick and drum back. Hmm. <laughs> I call this drum back. Really? And this is drumstick. Ah, it's a drum something. <laughs> 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 All right, baby. So Are you sure you can do it? Let me, let me help you. No, baby. Yes, and that is. That is it. It's good. No, 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 I'm Are you good. Sure? I'm good. No, yes. I want you to eat. No, 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 I'm good. I'll get fat. I like chubby girls. I don't like chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! It's my last one. Last one. Oh. Yes, so, so I can just. <laughs> Give me drumstick and take drum back. Right. Perfect. This is, this is a drumstick, right? Yes. Like Lekko. <laughs> <laughs> Big brother and jazz. <laughs> Okay, I'm watching yeah. my weight. Okay. Enjoy. Uh -huh. Whoa! So, let me feed you. Stay <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Mimi. Mm. My miracle. <laughs> my love. You know I, I love you so much. I know baby, and I love you too. I love you more. <laughs> okay, no, I love you more. <laughs> See, I, I've been meaning to ask you this question. And it's a sincere question. And I okay. want you to, you know, give me a sincere answer. Sure. <coughs> Mimi. Hmm? What do you think the, the future holds for us? I don't know, baby. What are you driving at? You should know what I am talking about. We have been dating for some time now, and my love for you is genuine. So I want to know my place in your heart. I want to know what I am doing. I want to know if you truly love me. Of course I love you. But babe, you are the man, so tell me what you want. Tell me how it's going to be. All right. Um, like I said, I, I love you so much and my love for you is genuine. I want to, you know, take this relationship to the next level, to the highest level. Because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I can never be happy without you. You brighten up my day. You give me peace of mind. So, I want us to start planning. Plan on how we can, you know, start building our house, houses, if possible. <laughs> yeah. And also our children, like, how many you want us to have? I want us to have three girls and one boy. Yes, baby, you know I love female children. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Like you've been nursing this in your heart already. Mm -hmm. You want three girls? Yes, and one boy. Okay. What of if we have like two boys and two girls? Mm -hmm. So it can be balanced. Okay. Is that what you want? Mm, I mean, four is okay. So let's just balance it. Two boys, two girls. Okay then. We'll have two boys, two girls. So, are you indirectly saying that you are okay for us to forward this relationship? Yes. Are you serious? Yes! <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. This love is unbreakable. You are the best in all I'm This love is unbreakable. They are the best in all angle. They love each other so much. The enemy they try to tear them apart. The enemy they try to take away their love. But come red, come sunshine, the love is strong. The enemy they try to tear them apart. The enemy they try. To take away their love But come red, come sunshine The love is strong Love is beautiful Love is sweet What else can I say If not I love you 
This is too much. You know I don't like eating much, especially when I'm going to work. Okay. Mm? Yeah, so I won't be tired. I'm stunned. Mm. Babe. Mm? I'm fine. Mm? I'm good? I'm okay. Thank you. See you in the evening. Bye. I love you. Take good care of yourself. I love you. Uh -huh. One more thing, babe. Babe, I left some money for you in the room, okay? So you get it and, you know, get yourself lunch. Okay. Daytime, all right? I'll see you in the evening when I come back. Thank you, honey. Love you so much. Love you. All right. Uh, let me start for you. Bye. Bye. Lazy bones. Uh, I'm out. Where are you off to? Job hunting. Oh. Oh, God. You see what I was complaining? Get a boyfriend who is rich, cute, with six packs, who is also presentable that is ready to take care of you. I never said no. Instead, you went for a, a, a common driver who cannot even take care of you. Why won't you go job hunting? Why? Sinta. Sinta. Hmm? Sinta. Hmm? How many times did I call you? Three times. Please be careful. Mm. Allow people, respect people, allow them to make their decisions. Oh. Why are you forcing your own decision down her throat? She said Donka is who she wants to be with. Let her be with Donka now. All the best in your hunting. Oh, she hunt what? Well. I'm used to you. When you're done blabbing, your food is on the table. 
Thank you. Bye. That reminds me. Hmm. Do you know I need to look for something I can be doing to combine with school? So I can make money for myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I rest my case here. I'm done with you. Mm. This love is unbreakable. They are the best in all angles. This love is unbreakable. They are the best in all angles. They love each other so much. The enemy they try to tear their numbers. The enemy they try. To take away their love But come red, come sunshine The love is strong The enemy they try To tear their numbers The enemy they try To take away their love But come red, come sunshine The love is strong Love is beautiful Love will be sweet what else can I say if not I love you? You'll be my Romeo, I'll be your Juliet, I'll be your love of all. Anyhow, I love her more, I love her more. My hand be my joy, live up for me, live up for me. You'll be my Romeo, I'll be your Juliet, I'll be your love. I love her more, I love her more. My hand in my jaw, live up for me, live up for me. Oh. You be my Romeo, oh. I be your Juliet, I be your love. Anyhow we be, I love her more, I love her more, I love her more. My hand in my jaw, live up for me. I'm searching for true love Someone that you wipe away my old stories I'm searching for true love Someone that will feel the vacuum in my heart Someone that will heal this wound in my heart That's all I need, that's all I want You'll be my remedy I be your Juliet, I be your love. Anyhow we be, I love her more, I love her more. My hand be my joy, live up for me, live up for me. Oh. You be my Romeo, I be your Juliet, I be your love. Anyhow we be, I love her more, I love her more. My hand. My joy, live up for me, live up for me. Oh. You be my Romeo, I be your Juliet, I be your love. Anyhow we be, I love her more, I love her more, I love her more. I am be my joy, live up for me. Annabelle, yes, man. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, epitome of beauty. Woo. <laughs> wow. How are you doing, my dear? I'm pretty good, and you? I'm okay. Where are you going under this scorching sun? Job hunting. What? Yes. I'm a graduate of medicine, you remember? So I went to submit my CV and my application letter at the teaching hospital. Oh. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Well, uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. So tell me, Black is beautiful. Where are you going from here? I'm going home. So is Osted. Oh, beautiful. I hope you don't mind if I drop you off. Thank you. You're welcome.
Yeah, here we are. Thank you so much for the ride. You're welcome, beautiful. Um, Anne, please tell me, why aren't you reciprocating my love? This month, I have told you that I'm seeing someone else. You mean the common driver? Oh, yes, the common driver. I love him so much. In fact, my whole world revolves around him. Oh, come on, beautiful. Come on, come on, come on. What on earth can a common driver offer to you that I this month cannot give you three times over? You don't seem to get it, do you? It is not all about what you can offer me or trying to compare yourself to him, no. It's okay. I have to rush back to the office. Fine. I just came out for lunch. It's okay. Thank you once more. You're welcome. Think about it. Mimi, you know you're back home. <laughs> what do you expect? I know Patrick is spoiling her sea right now at his place. I trust my babe. <laughs> she decided to pinch her tent over there. <laughs> Those two, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Who does not like good tea? I like good tea. Hi, girls. Ah, babes, you're yes. here. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back, babes. Thank you, Santa. How, how did it go? Any luck? No luck. Mm. I'm famished. Is there food inside? Yes, yes, yes. We made something. But you need to help yourself. It's fine. And it's your favorite. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we knew she was going to have a bad day. You guys should stop with this. Enjoy cute, handsome, rich guys. With six bags. No job. I mean, do you hear that saying? Chinta, did you hear me? Are you okay? I mean, is there a problem? Can I get it? You've been cool since I returned. Did something happen in my absence? Yeah, really. Louisa. You never forget her. She's just angry that you chose Duncan over this mode. That's what is paining her. Jacinta, when has my choice become a thing of worry? What happened this afternoon is Desmond called after dropping you off. And he complained bitterly. In his words, you were not giving him any green light. That is why she's in this mood. For what? Why would you do a thing like that? Jacinta, why are you taking it personal? That was exactly what I asked her. This thing you just said is exactly what came out of my mouth. Girl, Duncan is my choice. And I am happy with him. That should be all that counts. And you should be happy for me, girl. Please, please stop this. That's this month. See? This month is nice, cute, well packaged with six parts, sexy one at that, rich, and ready to secure you a job in their company. Mm -hmm. why, why are you not getting that poor, 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 poor thing? What's wrong with you? I don't get it. Doesn't mean you cannot secure a job for me if I refuse to date him. Anyway, I did not study chemical engineering. I studied medicine. Mm -hmm. So you know what? He can keep his damn job for all I care. I do not need his help. This one, this one, this one all the time. Stop this! Go for a rich guy! What is wrong with all of you? Nico rests. What is wrong? 
drunk with her. Nothing. That guy is not. It's not good for her. Love matters. What love is love? Matters. I love I money and six packs, but love matters. Stop uh, this. Uh, I have phobia for for poverty. Baby. Hi, baby. My love. <laughs> My sweet heart. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, miss you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So how was your day? Man, it was fine. Work was stressful today. But thank God I'm back home. Good to hear that. Mm -hmm. So... Let me just go in, freshen up, and then when I'm back, we go out and get something to eat. I'm famished. But, um, babe, I prepared dinner. You prepared something? Yes. How come? Because I know the money I left behind was for you to go get lunch. Like I instructed. So, you didn't get lunch? No, I went to the market instead. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So, the money was enough for lunch and dinner? Yes, of course. Ah. You know what, just go upstairs while I serve the table, okay? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. You're amazing, baby. I know. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, okay. Oh, leave my hair. <laughs> Oh. Go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Miracle did this. This girl is something else. Is there anything I can do without her? The answer is absolutely nothing. I have found a wife. <laughs> I die here. No! Oh, I die here. Hmm. Babe. This is delicious. <laughs> you like? I love it. <laughs> I mean, how did you come up with this? <laughs> hmm? Who would ever believe that you could prepare something like this with the little money I left behind? Mm. You're just an amazing soul. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not lucky to have you? Yes, you I'm are. the most luckiest man ever. <laughs> Every sane man in this country will want to make you their wife. Because you're not just beautiful, but you're also amazing. <laughs> I love you so much, darling. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But, baby, mm -hmm. are you seriously praising me for just cooking dinner? Did you call it just? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not just praising you. I am giving you accolades. Because this is... Wonderful. <laughs> I left little money behind for you to, you know, eat something. And then you prepared this big quantity of food. <laughs> Do you know that I know thousands of girls that would rather go to the fast food, the eatery, and squander the money than preparing something like this? What? Of course. You're such a good cook. And I wish you were already married. You're not eating. I'm just <laughs> listening to you. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you. Come. Mm.
Alexander, but my friends call me Alice. Jacinta. You mean Jacinta? Yes, Jacinta. What a beautiful name for a beautiful lady like you. Thank you. I cannot take my eyes off you. I see. What for? Oh, come on. I can't live without getting your contact. I wish to meet you again. I guess you are here to shop. Exactly. How about we shop together? Okay. If you insist. <laughs> jealous now <laughs> I know I know hold on someone's at the door hold on. who is there please come in the door is not locked hey hey baby. Yeah, baby. what's up darling I'll find out ah. Like you have something for me, oh. I got a new cash today. <laughs> Seriously, can't no you way. see? Ah, can't you see? Hey. <laughs> see, huh? you needed to see his sexy six packs. Oh my ah. spec! Don't do this now. You know I'm crazy about six packs, guys. So cute! Wow. Yes, this guy came back from Yankee. No way! <laughs> ah ah! Wow! He's loaded then, no. there's more new. Hey, he's loaded. His name is Alex. You know, what I was telling you guys about borrowing a car, which I did, you guys didn't understand. Did no, what do we know? Eh? Ah! Eh? Ah! He saw me step down from my car. Boy, you are a big girl now. You said that's a big girl now. What are you saying? <laughs> He is treating me like a big girl. Look at giving you dollars, pounds, and euro. Only you. I'm telling you. Ah, but I'm really happy. <laughs> oh oh my god. I'm hooked though. Hooked by a rich guy. I met him in a shopping mall. And he has to shop for me. You can't say it. So. Ah, so I will be my own. Mm -hmm. I'm your baby girl. What are you saying? Hey. What are you saying? <laughs> yes, you can say that again. Are you telling me that all this came from him? Yeah. 
everything. Everything came from him then. See, I told you, Alex gave me a treat. When I say treat, in fact, he gave me a blast. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. My friend, wait, wait. <laughs> tell me what he looks like. You talked about six months. Tell me, is he tall, short, chubby? You know, you know. Oh, wait, have wait, 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 wait. Doesn't mean you've not been listening to me all this time. No. I told you that Alexis Park now wanna name. His success is Park. Is it for me? <laughs> no, I'm not. Wait, wait. Let me tell you something. You need to see Alex. Alex is so fresh. Alex, his skin is glowing. In fact, nobody will tell you that this guy was the combat for Yankee. I'm telling you. Hey, <laughs> wait, my friend. It's not like I, I was not listening to you. Is that you talked about two things that I like? Which is six packs. And raw dollars, euro and pounds. So when you say those two things, when you join them together, my brain explodes. So I want you to explain, elaborate, expand shit on this thing. So that I can understand though. Babe, hey, you should know the kind of thing I ate. I know. I don't go for less. Once it's six pack and it's sexy, color me and I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> you see this one? He is the Babe, I got a husband. Hey! Now, <laughs> end of discussion. Look at me, look at you, guys. Me. Discussion continues look at me. after marriage. Look at me, look at you, guys. I'm your chief bridesmaid, too. I'm your chief bridesmaid, too. Carry me, baby, go. Jehovah, carry me, they go. My husband, my friend. Hmm? You're my friend. Carry me, they go. Carry us, they go. Carry me, they carry go. Us, they go. Carry us, they go, my husband. Hey. My love, I have gone round this town in search of job, but you know I've been. Is that why you're sounding like this? You don't have to give up yet. Something good can still happen. I'm already tired. My friends, especially Jacinta, she thinks that I'm a fool for not accepting Desmond's advances towards me. Who's Desmond? Some guy who works in one big oil company. Who told her he's going to help me secure a job in their company? Oil company? I don't understand the connection. What's the, I mean, what, what department, what, what will you be doing in the oil company? I understand mm. medical doctors working at oil company, but it's barely, barely, barely acceptable. I'm fed up. You remember that hospital, that private hospital went to submit my CV? Yes, yes, yes. They called me, but their salary is way too low. Hence, I have decided to opt for a teaching career in one private school. Oh. Although it's a big school. That's, that's uncalled for. You're surprising me the more. What's the... Do you know how many years you spent in the university studying medicine? How can you opt for a teaching job? How can a medical doctor opt for a teaching job? That's, that's uncalled for. I don't have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice. I want it's a lie, you want it. Go and buy your own. I remember this bag. That's true. Hmm. Hmm. Babes. So you're looking sweet. How far? Any luck? Whoops. Thank you. Welcome. I'm happy. Mm. Just give me this. Just give me this. I ran into Duncan. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What? He's promised to help me talk to his doctor friend who works at the teaching hospital and owns a private hospital too. Whoa, that's big. Yes. So I have this feeling that something is about to click. You know that kind of feeling, right? I trust that guy. <laughs> you know he's a nice person, so people will like him. Very nice. Oh my God, I pray he works out Amen. Too. Yes. Ran. <laughs> you ran 
into Duncan. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're trying to tell me that Duncan has a doctor friend who can actually help him out of poverty. <laughs> At least secure him a job to help him help his life. And he didn't go for it. He wants to introduce the person to you. <laughs> To help your own life. <laughs> Babe, come on. Let us face the reality for once. This thing is not working. <laughs> Jacinta. Hi. What's your problem? <laughs> no, seriously, what is your problem? I don't have a problem. <laughs> Sinta. What has chemical engineering got to do with medicine, for goodness sakes? What exactly? Mm. Sinta. Mm. Sinta, I do not like the way you act whenever Duncan's name is mentioned. May I remind you that in this whole thing, you are the fake person. No, 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 no. Everybody knows that you are no, no, fake. No, no, no. Do not eh? call me fake. You are fake. Don't try it. You are fake. Don't ever. I don't even know. Are, are, you, are you better? Are you? What? Lisa, are you Are you better? even comparing yourself to me at all? Please, no, I, you're not doing that. Let me the talk to. Let me. Are you there yet? Shwev. <laughs> Can you ignore her? I can't. Too. I can't. I'm sorry, Anne. Ah, uh -uh. I don't like the way she behaves whenever Duncan's name is mentioned. What is it? Because I have phobia for poverty. Oh, Babes, see, I can't go for less. Yes, I cannot date anyhow, guy. Not a poor one. So don't I spoke. He is uh, Are you not seeing it all over him? Is that <laughs> don't mind how? Yeah, I know that. Something will click. And don't is a good guy. Everything will be fine. Ah. Uh, I trust God though, and I trust him. Of course. God will come true. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Always. Hi. Thank you. All right, baby girl, <laughs> my soulmate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, we are. Ah, baby, I'm going to miss you. Of course, I'll miss you more. And you know that, right? Mm -hmm. But don't worry. In no time, we'll be together forever. Yes. <laughs> ah, I can't get enough of you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get enough of you, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe. Okay, so I have to go. You have to go. So I love you. I love you more. You want to go? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you don't want to stay with me? No. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you too. I'll miss you. Please come around tonight, huh? All right. Of course, I, you, you did it. How? What are you trying to say? I was asking you and you denied me. It's not uh, me. Why you would... cannot change. What is wrong with you? She's always behaving awkward. Mm. So why? She. Are you seeing a miracle? Yes, me. you, baby. <laughs> Yo. Hi, ladies. Mm. Oh my god! Hey. Hey. See how she's fresh. Mm. Oh, that's 
wait, wait. What's that on your finger? It's so big, that's a big stone. What's going on? Come on, spill it out. Stop talking. He proposed. <laughs> Hello, pretty. Hey, babe, it's you. Of course, it's me. I see you're ready for school. Of course, I am. Well, let me take you to school then. I don't mind. I don't mind aborting all my appointments for today. Really? Sure. Why not? I hope it. Tell me, how about your friends? They are all doing well. Okay. So, um, I've been meaning to ask you a question. I hope there's no problem. Not at all. When is your birthday? 25th of November. 25th of November. Yes. And this is This is I hope there's no problem. But why do you ask? Not at all. I, I just want to know. You know you're full of surprises, man. You. <laughs> <laughs> and November is around the corner. That's true. Very much. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Because the way you stare, right? You just glare and I'm like, okay. Because you're so beautiful. You've said that a million times. And I want to stop saying it. Then don't, because I don't want you to. <laughs> My love, good afternoon. Well, nothing, I'm just...
sitting here watching movies and pressing my phone logging online and out on instagram facebook and whatsapp please leave me john what do you expect from a jobless babe like me wait are you kidding me right now Without you. Wait, hold on a minute. So I'm going to be working in a hospital as a medical doctor. Yes, ah! Thank you, thank you, thank you, babe. I cannot proudly call myself Doctor Annabelle. <laughs> You're the best. Bye, my love. Ah! Oh my goodness! Yes! Yes! Ooh. Wow. Finally. Yes! Yes! Hi, babes. How long have you been waiting? How long have you been waiting? 13 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I had to submit my assignment to my course rep, so before leaving, of course. So have you done that? I have. Good. I guess you're famished. Do you mind I take you somewhere so you can have lunch? Are you somehow a mind reader? Anything for you. Don't worry, you're going to like this one. I hope you're right. Just because sex is not a guarantee for true love. I love you regardless. But that's true. You still haven't answered my question. Oh. You haven't made love to me since we started dating and it's been a while. Is there any girl somewhere you're making love to that is satisfying your needs? Not at all. There is no one anywhere. You see, I, I just don't want you to see it like I fell in love with you to satisfy my sexual urge. I decided to do it my own time with your permission. I've not done anything wrong. You haven't. But I also have another question, but this one is a favor I want to ask. Go ahead. Oh, yes. I want you to take me to your house. 
right now and make sweet love to me. Can you do that? <laughs> are you sure that's what you want? Alright, we're going to do that. That will be after lunch. In a very nice restaurant. What do you say about that? Always oh, a gentle man. Lunch isn't bad. I, I'm hungry, but the problem is not for that kind of food. Bob? What kind of food? Drive straight to your bed with me right now. <laughs> All right. As a majesty pleases. Thank you. <laughs> For a then. Jack. All right, I will be there in a minute. Baby, dear, <laughs> please wake up. Oh. <laughs> Come on, I have somewhere I have to be. I need to leave right now. Okay, just go. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait while you return. You don't have to wait for me. You have to leave. I swear. I promise to call you immediately and get back. I'll call you. How can you say that? You call me exhausted. I thought you said we're going to spend the whole day together. Why are you doing this? After riding me for three consecutive times, now you want me to leave? Come on, I'm really sorry. My elder brother Jack just called me Shit. for a landed property I need to purchase. And the agent is right there waiting for me. I have to be there. I promise to make it up to you immediately I get back. I'll call you. Come on, I don't like this. Oh, come on. You know you don't look beautiful when you're hungry. Huh? You got me exhausted. I know, I know. Just get up, get up. <sighs> Shit. Hmm? Guy to sleep with you? Oh, come on. And it's not it's not like that. I'll explain. Calm down. I'll explain. He just kept spending and spending and spending. And you guys know I like him so much. So I had to ask. And it was it was it was it was nice. <laughs> it was really cool. Oh my god. He's so sweet. <laughs> oh my god. So so how was the experience like? Mm. That Bob guy mm -hmm. has the sweetest mm. coated thing mm. in between his thighs. And who else discovered me? Mm -hmm. 
He's a sex machine. Mm -hmm. Every minute was fire. Wow. He touched me. He caressed me. He stroked me. Just the way I love it. Oh my God. And I just kept squatting. Loza. Did you say Snetter Briggs is in town? Yes. But I'm not seeing him. Bob is the person I'm going to see. See, babe, don't tell me you want to discuss Senator. Don't do that, though. Bob, or whatever you call him, hasn't even proposed to you yet. And you're already all over the moon. Please, please, my girl, don't do something that you live to regret, though. Please. Louisa, do not listen to Jacinta's bad advice. Stick to Bob, okay? <laughs> I honestly do not know what is stopping me from coming to see my parents. Babe, how can you be talking about coming to see your parents now? I'm poor. You're not poor. But you lack finances now does not mean you're poor. It may interest you to know that a man being without money does not make him poor. But being without vision. <laughs> Dr. Annabelle, now a motivational speaker. Please, my love. I am tired of hearing the same old story. Is someone coming already? I work in the hospital now and I end big, courtesy of you. Whatever you have, I'll support you. Just come and see my parents. You can't be talking about supporting me now. It's barely a few months you started this work. Secondly, I do not even know where you stay. What kind of a relationship is this for crying out loud? How can I not know where my fiancés stay? My love, it's, it's not an issue. I told you already. I'm living with my mother. Mm. Okay. That is not a problem. You insist on me. Duncan has vehemently refused to give me to his place. It's becoming a thing of worry. How can he take you to his place when he doesn't have any? Probably he's squatting with a friend or someone. So, there's no place. <laughs> well, uh, he's not squatting per se. He just sleeps with his mom. this age, a grown man like him still lives with the poor mother. Ah! And please, that guy is not good for you. Please use your head. Mom, good evening. How are you? I just dropped her at her place now. Mom, you need to see her. You need to see her. It's high time. It's high time I wish her away. I'm not sure I'm looking for anything else. This is the woman. Dr. Annabelle is the woman, Mom. 
<laughs> I can't wait to make her my wife, mom. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Your son has found love again. <sighs> yes, yes. I'm I'm already on my way home. Oh. I'll, I'll call you on some clothes. <laughs> Mom, stop asking me. When I get home, I'll tell you, okay? We have a whole lot to talk about. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Mom. Bye. I love you, Mom. advise you throw away that ring in your finger. Better still take it back to the owner. Anne, don't be so harsh in taking your decision. Duncan is a nice guy, I would say to a fault. He may be down now, but not out. And he may be poor, but definitely nobody knows tomorrow. So, what you are trying to say is that she should continue waiting for him, like mm -hmm. indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some ladies marry already made men, while some will have to struggle with this man. Before you know, they make it. Okay, listen. I know of this girl that married this guy when he had nothing. Before you know it, all of a sudden everything changed for good. She brought luck into his life. Mm. Same way, some guys threw away the woman who suffered with them when they had nothing. Because they have arrived. There is now excess money. My girl, use your head, please. And calm down. Do not throw away treasure in search of treasure. Duncan is a very good guy, and you guys are meant to be. You're meant for each other. Believe me. Jacinta cannot date a broke guy. Period. See, babes, you need to see my Alex mansion. It's out of this world. So, I can't leave such comfort to go live with a man in a face me and face you apartment or face me and face you company. I don't understand that. How people want to do it? It's a no no for me, okay? So, madam, use your head. Um, you have some money saved up, right? I think you should give it to Duncan to come and pay your diary at least. That's something. Huh? Hey! And um, whatever you decide, we are suddenly behind you. Yes. Hmm, I don't follow. I don't follow. Thank you, girls. Helping a friend. I even you. Different opinions. Shit. On his side. Sinta. <laughs> I kind of Sinta. advice I'll give it to somebody. Do you love that? to rain? No, no can't come down. She should give him a man. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? 
Alex, this Alex, I won't hear something. Mm. Tomorrow is my girlfriend's birthday. And I am planning to be there with a very big surprise. Wow. That's what I want to do for her. Wow. She's November born? 25th, to be precise. Oh, I see. So, what are you planning to give her? Like I said, it's a surprise. Until tomorrow. Hey, Bob, what I'm saying is, you and this girl are barely five months in a relationship. I hope you are not planning something big. Listen, my friend. You see that girl? I love her so very much. And the way things are going, I might end up getting married to her. My friend, <laughs> I hope you are not making a mistake. You can't be talking about marriage at this stage. She just met this girl. You see, it doesn't matter. It means nothing. I know it doesn't matter. But Good. you need time to know her more. That is what I'm saying. I have done all that. The most important thing is you are going to be there with me tomorrow. Is it a yes or a no? <laughs> it's okay. I'll be there. What are friends for? Thank you. All right. You know, I can always count on you. So, see you tomorrow. All right. Be good. to date the seagulls. No, baby. Watch, watch your baby, thoughts. No. Watch I'm your thoughts. I, I can make you disappear right now. What's the meaning of this? You I'm see, sorry. You see, that girl took a video of us old food. Baby. Oh, take this off my face. Baby. Baby, I'm sorry. What's the meaning of this? You got it? Baby, I'm sorry. One, one, I love one, you. One. I love you. <laughs> now, I'll tell you something. Mr. Old Fool Politician. This video is going to go viral on social media and you know what it means. And you know what it's going to do to your political career, right? But he hasn't got into that. He doesn't go to that, but he too will get to that. Now, okay, okay. Ten million, we'll have a second. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? 
Okay, 20 million. Okay, okay, 20 million. Give 20 million, so you, you can give somebody uh -huh. the same money. How do I make this man? I'm sorry, I love you. No, no, no. How do I make this man what? understand that he's just being a fool? Babe, I'm sorry, babe. He's just playing it. Did you hear me? I said 50 million. So, what is he saying? This is what you do with the country's money. Spend it like a fool you are, all because of sex, right? I love you, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't mean, I love you, I'm sorry for keeping this part of my heart. Yes, you are. I'm sorry, I love you so much. I moment, love you. You decide to date this old fool. I asked him to leave me alone. That's the same, boss. It's over. No, I'm sorry, please. Don't no, say that. Please. Don't touch me! I love you! I love you! I love you! Do what you want. Just get out, get out of my house. Get out! Get out! I don't want to see you! Stop it! Give my career! Kill my stupid career! So you had all this money you never gave me! Oh my god, I have a lot of regrets. Lisa, please take it easy, okay? Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't even hurt him. I'm so hot, I've lost my bulb. Nothing makes sense anymore. See? I keep saying that cheating is dangerous. Bob. Such a jolly good feeling. Yes. Now you've lost him. Oh, yeah. Try. I'm sorry, okay? Sorry. I cost all this, right? I should have advised you to, to do the right thing. I should have advised her as a friend to do away with Senator and stay with your boy. And I still maintain that it is very wrong sleeping with Senator Briggs while your birthday was ongoing. What were you thinking? Louisa, what have you done? Why would you even do this? Let me tell you something. If Bob had not bashed in on you people, it would have been someone else. And it is not good. It's not good. I know I've made a great mistake, an unforgivable mistake. But I regret it and I'm ready to make amends. I'm ready to right my wrongs. 
I feel so bad for hurting Bob. Hmm. I hope he forgives you, Just because I love you. Hmm. I'm not sure. This kind of thing make it not happen again. Baby, like a child. Uh -uh. How will you party outside? They come, you're going to wash. Who does that? You does that. Who does that? You, you have done How it. How that does it? You keep doing it. I didn't do it. You were caught. You I did not do it. You did it. I you cannot do outside and inside the same time. Is it time. because you manage and recover? My dear, I did not do it. Ashara is calling somebody Ashara. How about? She just behaved like one no lotro for one. I will pass this now. You will not but pass anything. Anyway, sorry. Huh? There's no vacancy in this company, but you people will not hear. Please rest. We are not here for job hunting. So why are you girls here? We are here to see Mr. Duncan, the company's driver. Let me understand you. Mm -hmm. You said you both are here to see the company's driver, Mr. Duncan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He works here. Mr. Duncan is my boss and not our company's driver. Point of correction. Security. Security. Is this Madam. pride that you have that is disturbing me now? We are here to see Mr. Donker. Can you fetch him for us? Do we look like people that don't have things to do? Wait. I should fetch my boss. Am I crazy? Do you want me to lose my job? I know Duncan walks here. I know he walks here. This, this, this boy, this boy, you. Can you allow us to Duncan? Madam, take it easy now. You want me to lose my job? Yeah, tell the security to let them in. Say Duncan is his boss. That's true, and I'm as confused as you are. But let's hold on now. Yeah? You will be. Yes, you come. If it's not the fear of God that I, I will give you. Ah. Yes, come in. You're the job here as the company's driver. Yes, uh -huh. yes. How come you, 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 you're, you're the boss? Let me formally introduce myself. My name is Engineer Dr. Duncan O. Duncan. I'm an oil magnet, CEO, Managing Director, Donkey Oil and Gas Limited. What? Who doesn't know Donkey Oil and Gas Limited? Wait, 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 hold on. I'm still confused. I don't know what to believe in anymore. I'm really not getting any younger. I should get a wife. Unfortunately, 
All the girls I have met seem to be more interested in just one thing. My money. Does it mean I cannot get a girl for myself? Does it mean I cannot get a girl who would love me and not for my wealth? Priska, Sandra, Faith, all of them are after my money and not genuine love. And my mom has been on my case to get married. What do I do now? I can't remain single forever. I can't remain like this. I'm going to disguise myself. I'm going to act as a poor guy with one singular objective in mind, and that is to find my woman. Yes. I know there's a woman meant for me out there. I know. I know. What has happened in my life that made me take that decision? Please, I have, I have been battered, I have been treated so unfairly by different women, all because of my status. So I, I decided to play this game. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to. I, got to. I got to know that you are the best woman that I've ever, ever loved in my life. You love me sincerely. You don't love me because I have anything. And that is everything for me. Please. I'm sorry. Don't, don't take it like that. Don't take it that I lied to you. Did you answer the gate? discovered that Richard has started dating Comfort. But before then, some persons were coming to tell my pregnant mom 
that her lover was dating comfort. But she never wanted to believe it until she saw them with her eyes. So, all this happenings where girls snatched their girlfriend's man didn't even start today. Of course, it's been happening. So, um, after nine months, my mom put to bed a bouncing baby boy. And the family's joy knew no bounds. So my grandfather named him after his name, Duncan. That was how I came into this life. My grandfather wielded everything to me because I'm obviously the only child. They gave me everything I wanted in life, the best education the best life could offer. Anything I am today, or anything I have become today, I owe it to them. What a story. So where's your mom? My mom is married. She got married 12 years later after I was born to a white man. Oh, she married a white man. Yeah, they live in America. Hmm. Alex is married? After lying to me that he is a single guy. Gosh. What? What sort of guy could deny his wife and kids all because of a lady? Little wonder. He woke me up after making love to me three consecutive times the other day and asked me to leave. To go meet some people over a land, whatever. Shit! <gasps> he took advantage of my desperation. Just in time, fucked up! Big time! We're a fool! The big one of that. Richard and the comfort. Richard and me got married to comfort afterwards. Duncan, are you trying to say that your biological father's name is Richard Ume? Yes. Please, what's comfort's middle name? Comfort and Zeribi.
Are you kidding me now? They are my parents. What? Yes. Duncan, are you my brother? You mean, you're my sister? This world is really a small place. Louisa? My sister? Where is that? He's, he's dead. Yes. He died of partial stroke. <sighs> Shortly after he died, in his mornings, my mom went to look for her friend gift to apologize for everything. <sighs> but she was told that gift had relocated abroad to further her education. So, we couldn't do anything about it. Hmm. This is unbelievable. I, I feel goosebumps all over my body right now. I know. <laughs> Me too. I mean, who would have told the Duncan here? He's my brother. Ooh. That. What happened? Did you did you did you people fight? Did something happen? <laughs> eh? Miracle. Eh? Alex is fake. Alex. Alex is fake. I don't understand. What are you saying? Alex has gone back to UK. He has gone back to UK to meet his wife and kids. What? <laughs> he was married? I didn't know. I didn't know. I went to Alex's house <laughs> only for his get man to tell me that Alex is married with a beautiful wife and two kids. They all live abroad. UK. He has gone to meet them. Hey. <laughs> Jacinta, are you joking? Mm, I wish this is a joke. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Hi. Justin touches and touches and You were so into that guy that you did not look out for the red flags. Hey. No. Hey. Sorry, you. It's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, eh? Hi. <laughs> Duncan, I wish I could see your mom now so I can apologize to her for everything my mother did to her. Same here. 
I'll just tell her to forgive and let go. Thank you. Yeah, come in. Good afternoon, boss. Didi. What a pleasant surprise. You work here? Uh, yes, I, 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 I work here. He's my boss. You guys know each other? Yes, boss. What a small world. The same thing happened to Louisa. Senator Briggs destroyed her relationship with Bob. After everything, he's not calling her. He's not returning her call. He just abandoned her like that. I didn't back in for this. <laughs> Miracle, I didn't back in for this at all. See, my friend, I'm beginning to see sense in everything Anne has been saying. You need to stop this lifestyle. You need to return that fake car and go back to your normal life. I just need to leave this town. I just need, need to leave. I go to Portugal or something. It is not all about changing town. It is all about changing your lifestyle. I'm so ashamed of myself. It's okay. I'm so ashamed of the life I've lived, what I've become, everything. I'm just, I'm just ashamed of myself. See, first thing, your clearance and then your posting. I pray that the town you will go to for your youth service, you meet a good man, a good man, and you will be happy. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. You and Annabelle already found happiness. Unlike Louisa and I, we're so unlucky. But you caused it. You caused it. God gave you Felix, a good man, a man that did everything for you. He saw you through school. He made sure he put a smile on your face. What did you do? You cheated on him with that Collins guy. Now see where we are. See what has happened. Collins got married last month. You were dead last month. God. I will never forget this. I will never forget everything that happened. How I lost everything. You have not lost everything. Everything will be alright. Calm down. Okay? You have not lost everything. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Didi? Yes. Are you trying to say that Collins and Patrick also work here? Uh, yes. Uh, Mr. Collins is our manager. Why I and Patrick work in the same department. Is it true that Collins is married? Y yes, yes, very true. He got wedded last month. Wow, 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 wow. Well, your boss is my big bro. Mm -hmm. Really? He's my big brother. Blood brother. Oh, really? Yes. I didn't even know before now. That's wonderful. Yeah. I had to smoke. So you can talk today. Uh, Surprising day for everybody. Do you have the five? Oh, the five. Sorry, sir. 
dad surprised from being my sister. And now, Desmond. Yeah? <laughs> Don't mind me. So you are saying that Duncan is calling his Desmond and Patrick's boss? Yes. <laughs> it beats my imagination. Do you know that Duncan has been faking who he really is all this while? Jessica, you see what I've been telling you? <laughs> Who would have believed that Duncan you despise so much because he is poor? He's calling his boss. But I can't still believe that. Okay. I can't believe that. And he is not saying anything. Is it true? Hmm. My sister. It is true. Hey! We got to where Duncan said he's working. Then we met a security guy. Mm -hmm. And then told him we were there to see Duncan. The company's driver. Huh? Mm -hmm. At first, the guy was confused. And we told him we were there to see Duncan. He said, Duncan is not the company's driver. That Duncan is his boss. That we want him to lose his job. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Next thing. He went to Nike and I said, okay, we should follow him to one office. Yes, like yes. I'm getting there. Oh. We actually saw Duncan. He's his boss. Yeah. Eh? Duncan. Managing director. Donkey's Oil and Gas Limited. Yes. Huh. Hey! Come on, girls. Look at it now. Duncan, Donkey. There are similarities in the names. Hey! Simonio! Babe! You see why I say it's not good to despise anyone. He actually confided in us. He said he had to disguise himself so he can find true and genuine love. And not someone that was coming to him pretending to love him for his money. Hey! Wow. Who would have believed that? Duncan disguised himself just to find a true love. My father is a big boy. Your yeah, brother, how? He's my brother. How you claim him? Your yeah, brother, how? He's my brother now. How? <laughs> People, eh? Yes, he's my brother. I never knew Duncan and I were siblings, though. I, I, I didn't even know. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. How? How? His dad is my dad. Mm. Yeah. Your late father fathered him. Mm. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Hey. Wow. Huh? See my Sinta, hmm? you were supposed to go to Alex's place this evening, right? Or am I missing something? Alex has traveled back to London to see his wife and kids. A complete family. How? He's married with kids. What? what? 
He used her. Talk now. Cynthia. You see? You see what I've been trying to say? Now look. This kind of lifestyle will lead you nowhere. Look where it has landed you. Hi. I'm leaving this town to Port Harcourt. Leaving town to Port Harcourt is not the problem. The problem here is Jacinta. Have you learned your lessons? When I mean learn, I mean, did you learn in a hard way? If leaving town to Port Harcourt will make you learn your lessons, then do it. I don't think it's a problem to any of us. <laughs> I swear that, Mom. I'm, I'm so, so excited the way everything is playing out. You know, I never made it open to her until she came looking for me today. Yes, Mom. You know, she came to look for Duncan, the supposed company driver. But when she got here, my gate man told her the supposed Duncan she came looking for is the real boss. You can imagine how her expression should be. Oh yes, mom. This is rare. You can barely see that. I mean, that's why I chose this path. Yeah, that reminds me. Do you remember one girl I told you about? One of her friends, Louisa? I told you about one Louisa girl that's, that's, that's her clique as well. Do you know that Louisa is actually Richard's daughter? I swear that I'm wrong. She's my sister. Well, uh, she said Richard is, is late. He died of partial stroke, according to her. Yes, Mom. I never got to meet my biological father. So sad. Mom, he was framed. I don't think it was really his fault, you know. Oh yes, I did. I spoke to him not quite long and, and we agreed to fix the wedding pretty soon. Oh, of course I do love Annabelle so much. Yes! <laughs> I can't wait to see you, bro. I can't wait to see you after a very long time. So I'll, I'll keep you posted with the way things are going, okay? Sure, sure, Mom. Sure, Mom. I love you. Bye, Mom. Now that the wedding is over, what next? Vacation. <laughs> Honeymoon. <laughs> exactly. So tell me where. Where do you want us to go? Um, Greece. Greece? Okay. Alright. Greece, we shall go. <laughs> this love is unbreakable. They are the best in all angles. This love is so good. We are the best in all angles. They love each other so much. The enemy they try to tear the numbers. The enemy they try to take away their love. But come red, come sunshine. The love is strong. The enemy they try. 
I love her more. 